And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Hello, 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 everyone. It is Monday, which means that we're playing Arkham Horror LCG here. We are playing uh, another side mission, Carnival of uh, Carnivale of Horrors, um, as part of our Return to the Night of the Zealot episode 8. Now, this is a little bit different because the previous four or five side missions that we've done in this series, uh, we've had guest investigators on with us. So this is actually the first side mission that me and Matt will be doing just two player. Um, so it actually like so you guys are used to seeing us play a bunch of two player Arkham, um, but this is the first side mission that we're doing um, uh, with 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 the two player team. And so Nate and Stella are back um, we, with uh, all of our all of our XP <laughs> um, and our and our upgraded decks to take this one on. This probably is going to be the last side mission before we wrap up. Um, so. Return to the Night of the Zealot, um, or the Core Box, or the Return to the Core Box, um, had only has three uh, three scenarios in the whole campaign, which is why we chose this campaign to add a bunch of uh, side missions in, like our sort of tour around the world of side missions for. So I think we're we're coming up to the close for this. We've got a good amount of XP for these characters, um, but I think. Uh, Matt and I need to brainstorm to, s to see what's on the horizon uh, as far as what we're going to do next, um, as far as campaign-wise. Uh, we have a few ideas, which we'll let you know about a little bit later once we figure that stuff out. Um, but while we are waiting for Innsmith to release um, the the final missions, I guess, I guess it's like six, seven, and eight, um, we will be starting something new and fresh. So. This might be the last side mission. What do you what do you think, man? Is this our, is this our last side mission with these characters? Seems seems pretty likely. Like unless unless some some like really really powerful incentive to throw Egypt in there comes our way. Right. This will probably be it because we can always throw Egypt into something else later in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. There's 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 part of there's a part of me like there's there's a completionist part of me that wants to do all the side missions now, just to be like we're on a roll. We're just gonna do it. Um, but. Um, Egypt is actually a very it's like a it's a it's an official mission but it's a, it's special because it's a two parter, um, so we might want to save that for something else. And then um, you've heard Matt and as and also Dylan last week talk about um, uh, side missions that are sort of fan generated and stuff like that that seem really really cool too. So so there is um, there is way more content for Arkham um, than than uh, we have time to even to go through, but. Um, yeah, so we can save a bunch of those side missions for for future things. We don't have to do them all right now. Um, so, so that's what that's what we're doing. Um, this one's cool. Uh, I think we're going. Are we are we off to to was it Venice? Are we are we in Italy for this one? Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna like ride some some uh, some canals, dude, and, and wear some masks and unmask some some people wearing masks. I don't even know uh, what's what's going on here. Uh, Matt, do you wanna you wanna talk to us a little? Actually, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Matt, yeah. how how are you? How was your week? How was your week, pal? <laughs> uh, I'm good. You know, I mean, hanging in there. Just got my my second follow up shot for the uh, vaccine today, so we're gonna see if and when that kicks in, um, or if I'm one of the lucky ones. It's not too bad for. Um, but otherwise, pretty normal week. Um, pretty laid back weekend. Unfortunately, I got like a couple kickstarters in, but um, I wasn't able to do much with them because people were busy. So yeah, um, I got. Unmatched for my birthday, like belatedly, which was awesome. Thank you to Shannon and Frank for that. And then uh, I had my Kickstarter season one Dice Thrones come in, which I'm waiting to play with Dylan whenever we uh, were able to do that. So very that nice, dude. Very, very exciting stuff. Um, I was telling uh, Matt uh, right before stream that I have still not played Unmatched. Um, and so I, I kind of want to get a game uh, under my belt just to, cause a bunch of you guys in chat have been, have been telling us, uh, telling us and telling me in particular, cause Matt, uh, cause Matt and Chris played this already. I'm the only one that hasn't that, uh, this is something that I would probably enjoy. Um, dice thrones, I think is something that me and, and Chris also streamed way back. Um, and we had a lot of fun with it. Um, so, so that's another one of those things that's like, that, that would be pretty fun to get back to the table too, actually, uh, playing some dice thrones for sure. Um, 
yeah so i i think um for for my week so it was a pretty it was a pretty good week um uh, i was telling matt that the the craziness that happened to me today was that uh i you know casey and i woke up saw saw that our uh, car tire was completely flat and so we must have driven over something made a huge hole in it all the air went out and i i had a debacle going to the shop where they told me that they were going to place the tire, then they had to order the tire, and I have to bring the car back. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it home on the thing. I was like, so am I going to have to, like, jack it up and put the spare on? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. I'm going to just, like, wait till tomorrow and see what happens. Like, if I need to just pump some air in it and just ride, like, 10 miles, then I should be fine. Uh, if it's, like, doesn't take any air at all, I'm going to have to put the, the old donut on it and then go. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm really super pumped about it <laughs> so no no real gaming news other than that um uh the the schedule this week if you're wondering uh chris and i will be streaming zombicide invader mission six uh that will be either wednesday or thursday uh we need to figure out the schedule on that um chris as you know has has three kids and um i believe they're both in school whoa, again whoa. Oh. it keeps changing right and so because it keeps changing his his uh his schedule keeps changing so keep posting on social media we will be playing today um but our not today this week but i'm just not sure what day and then i will be doing a solo stream uh the other day and i'm either gonna play keyforge or uh phoenix Wright ace attorney we are on case four, uh, if you guys were curious about that. Very, very excited about that. But um, we are going to cut the banter a little bit shorter than usual, um, just in case. Just in case Matt, uh, uh, you know, he's got he's got a little, he's got a he's got a weak version of the COVIDs on him. So <laughs> we'll see how his body handles it. So let's jump over to the game screen over here, and let's uh, let's have Matt describe describe to us quickly what uh, Carnivale is all about. Um, or I can start reading something if you think that's better, Matt. Yeah, I think just just do the reading real fast, and then I'll do like a real quick overview of the rules. But this one's really simple and streamlined, so it should be quick. All right, let's do this. The Carnival of Horrors. Uh, look, Sheriff Engel insists. I know it sounds crazy, but that's really all there is to it. He sighs, sits back down, pouring a cup of joe for you and one for himself. A dame in Uptown spied a cracked egg wearing this mask and holding a bloody butcher's cleaver, he says, motioning to the black leather mask sitting on his desk. It has a, lo it has a comically long nose and a strange symbol scrawled in yellow on its forehead. So she, um, um, so she calls it, uh, so she calls it in. My boys and I picked him up from the corner of uh, Saltston Stall in Garrison. The sheriff's jaw clenches and his brows furrow as he recounts the story. Fella did nothing but laugh as we slapped the bracelets on him. Called himself Zani, said nothing except the carnival is coming, whatever the hell that meant. It wasn't until the next day we found the victim's body. Defense wanted him in a straitjacket. We were happy to oblige. There isn't much time to spare. If your research is right, there is more to this case than meets the eye. This Zani wasn't talking about uh, Dark's carnival, but rather the carnival of Venice which begins just before the next full moon. All right. Some crackpots and masks and a murder. Like, I thought it took place in Venom, but it sounds like it's just the Carnival of Venice in Arkham. Yeah. I always thought that it actually took place in Venice. And I think, I mean, and if you look at the locations, I, it does. There's like Venetian Gardens, Streets of Venice, San Marcos Basilica. So like, yeah. But if you read the way this is, is sounding, unless Sheriff Ingle is just an Italian sheriff who you just happen to be out there talking to. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't um, I guess we can read the maybe the agenda and the act will make it more clear. Okay, okay. Uh, agenda 1A, the festivities begin, eight doom threshold. Last minute ocean liner tickets from Boston to Italy set you back a fair bit of dough. But after a tense journey, you arrive in Venice. The carnival has already begun, and the city is in celebration. Colorful confetti rains from above, covering the streets. Many revelers throng in the Piazza San Marco, the square outside the Basilica. The parade is to begin shortly. You find the nearest uniformed carabiniere and, uh, and show him a copy of the symbol you transcribed from Zanni's mask. He pauses to decide your trustworthiness, nods, and escorts you into the Basilica to see the Abbess Allegria de Biasi. All right, Act Deck. Act 1A, the Carnivale uh, Conspiracy. The Abbess 
uh, addresses you privately, so you know what is coming, you, you nod. Then you know what must be done. They are using the celebration as a sacrifice for their wretched master. Bring as many innocents as you can here where I can protect them. But beware, the creature's servants will try to blend into the crowd with their false masks. Action! The investigators spend two clues as a group. Look at the other side of a masked carnival goer at any location. Objective. If there are a total of three innocent revelers underneath the act and agenda decks, advance. Okay. So this makes a little bit more sense. We have traveled from Boston to Italy to, to be, take part of this celebration in which people are disguising themselves in the crowd to murder people. <laughs> And we yes, have to save them yes. and bring them into this uh, to this place. Um, so, I, I mean, mechanically, the thing that's, I guess, unique about this one is that to simulate the parade that's kind of marching through the streets, you have to always go in a circle. You always go clockwise. Um, the ab the uh, Abessa here, the Abbess, yep. um, she has a location. She's sitting on the location. But she has an ability that you can exhaust her to either take a free move forward, but you can also use it to take a move backwards. Oh. So she lets you kind of break that rule um, once per turn. Okay. Um, so, or to relocation, relocation, connect to it. Yeah. So, uh, so that is the one kind of rule there. Um, the main thing is, is that we have these mass carnival goers out at each location. Um, they're just these kind of neutral NPCs. And there's two ways to interact with them. One is like the act deck says to spend two clues to look at the other side of them. The other thing is to just spend one clue and flip it over. And if it's a bad guy, it automatically hits you and you have to deal with it. But if it's a mass carnival goer, one of the innocents she's talking about, then uh, then you don't have to fight it. You do the other things with it. So depending upon speed-wise, you can either um, spend clues to be more safe, spend more clues to be more safe, less clues to be um, more aggressive, and, I uh, see. Okay, so time. so if you do the act version and you're just looking, so what does that mean? You just you just flip it over, you then you flip it, it back, or yeah, you pick it up, look at it, and put it back down. So okay, okay. The downside of that is, is that then you have to spend a total of three clues to get it because it's two for looking at it, and then another one later on the uh, mass. I see. So, I see. You end up spending so. three clues and two actions. Yeah. 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 So. Um, it's one of those things that, like, again, depending upon... I know this mission really well. I've played this mission, side mission, like, a lot. So I'm, I'm trying to decide how much to help, how much to keep to myself. And uh, I'm going to try to let you make more of the choices. But otherwise, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's the mechanics. And um, we're basically ready to hop in as soon as... Uh, I guess I guess we should have drawn our hands before we read that in classic style. Oh, so, yeah, in classic style. Uh, um, but really quick, uh, Matt, you want to go over your, your upgrade? And then I'll go yeah. through mine. So uh, due to limited experience, because we had to pay for the last mission as well as save some for this mission, um, I was only able to afford one chainsaw. So I'm getting rid of one of my two fighter flights because um, I just haven't needed them both. I haven't actually gotten enough horror on me to make them good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, I'm going to leave one in the deck and then get this chainsaw, which is a badass combat weapon. Um, extra good on Stella because uh, if you fail with it, you don't actually spend a charge. So, um, or you can choose to spend the charge for one damage. So really good. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's guys, it look at two plus two fists and deal two damage. It's a three damage attack. It's ridiculous. I love it's it. Really good. So good. Um, on my end, um, it's kind of boring upgrades here. I spent four XP as well. I'm, uh, we're both banking one XP. Um, I, I'm upgrading my second go get over here. Uh, this was huge in the last game. It's, it's the fact that I was able to play this as a fast action ends up changing this a lot. Also, I can engage things that are two locations away, and that ended up being really, really helpful in the last mission as well. Uh, but but I like it because it's a fast action now. Um, and so I upgraded that for two XP. I also uh, upgraded my other counter punch. So I had one regular one, one upgraded. And this thing is just great because it's like when I take an attack, um, now I, I really do counter it. It's not just like a blow for blow. Um, now I cancel it, and if I if I kill the thing before it actually attacks me, it doesn't actually attack me. So those are the two things that are going in my deck. Uh, the pleb versions will be discarded over here. Awesome. So let's shuffle up and let's get our hands. I think you already have yours. 
Yeah, I mulliganed. I, I did get my chance on my opening hand. Tried to mulligan for a rabbit's foot. Didn't succeed, but I'll take it. I got greet and box and gloves and stand together, so I feel really great. I'm going to nice. mulligan the other two actions to see if I can get more assets, assets to use Ever Vigilant. Yes, I like it. I like uh, it. And I basically got the same <laughs> shit. Over. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Cool. As long as I got my boxing gloves and, uh, and an ally, I'm good. Um, so we start up here at the uh, Basilica, um, and uh, we can read the story on that, and then figure out which one of us wants to go first. Okay. All right. San Marco Basilica. Oh, hold, hold on. Before I do this, I'm going to put some ambient music on. There you go. Excellent. And... I'm going to increase that for myself because I actually want to hear that a little bit. Okay, cool. All right. San Marco Basilica, uh, Venice. San Marco Basilica is connected to the location. Uh, it's connected to the location in the clockwise direction. So like Matt was saying, we have to go clockwise. So it's connected to the Rialto Bridge. And it is three shroud, zero clue, uh, action. Place an innocent reveler you control underneath the act deck out of play. Okay, so this is like safe haven place. Um, and it lines as blessed and warded by the abess. The basilica is about as safe as a place as you can find in Venice, but it's not safe enough. I think of like, uh, for those of you who play Bloodborne, I think of... Um, the church there that you send everybody to. So for better or for worse. <laughs> um, but so on this turn, one of us, I think it should use her while we can. Like if we can do a full setup and one of us can just use her. I don't think it matters necessarily which one. Um, yep. I'm fine to start getting clue right away if you want to do like a full setup turn and like dig for cards or something. Um, you know, let me know. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do a setup turn if you don't mind. Um... Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Stand Together and give us both two bucks. Oh, thank you. Um, I have a bunch of weaknesses in my deck. I'm not sure if I should dig, but I kind of want to because I want to be greedy. So I'm going to do my second turn to pick up a card. Okay. Okay. It's another greed. didn't matter. Then I will play <laughs> uh, Ever Vigilant, which means I can um, play three assets from my hand, uh, one at a time, reducing the research cost by one each. I'm going to play Boxing Gloves for one. I'm going to play Greet for four instead of five, and then I'm going to waste that last one I can play, and that's my turn. Now, so if you want, as a fast action, you can use her, or I can. Your choice. Uh, where would I go with her? Um, Does it matter if I go backwards go now or backwards. go forward? Uh, I mean, not necessarily, no. Uh, Something tells me that I want to go backwards, but... This. Yeah, so one of the good strategies here is, like, if you want to get this one, like, I could come over here and get, like, a clue. Yeah. Ooh. Actually, so the person who... The person who's going to flip it actually has to spend the clue. So, yeah, if you go back here now, something we want to go for, I could come back here, like, next turn and help get a clue, and then we could spend it to immediately flip this guy. Let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to use her as a fast action. I'm going to move to a connecting location behind me. This is the Venetian Garden. Uh, Venetian Garden is connected to the location in the clockwise direction. I think they're all going to say this. Uh, Venetian Garden is three shroud, two clue. Venetian Garden, um, spend two actions, spend two resources, heal two horror, uh, limit once per game. Now that's once per person per game, right? Yeah. Group limit once per game. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, that's good. Nice four heal spot. Okay, so then maybe what I should do is instead of running forward, I can just do some setup right now, and then I can use her to shove me back because I cannot walk that way of my own okay. volition. Sounds good. So then, um, what I'm going to do, given the current situation, is I'm going to draw first. Um, I'm going to draw second, and third, I'm going to play a key ring. All right. And uh, that is it. So, um, enemy phase. We don't have anything. Yep. Um, is she already uh, at the end of the upkeep phase? We're in the upkeep phase now. Okay. I am now called by the miss, which is fine because this is a three already shrouds. <laughs> sweet. <A> big. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm gonna upkeep myself. 
Oh, I got I got a uh, little brother. Okay. I have all okay. these allies. Um. Let's do right. doom. And doom bad cards. One of eight and bad cards. All right. The Watcher's Gaze. Test four brain. It's my favorite test. Each investigator who controls an innocent reveler must also perform this test, which is nobody else. Uh, each investigator who fails takes one horror, which must be assigned to an innocent reveler first, if able. So that's actually interesting. Okay. That card. Yep. All right. So uh, four brain. I have three brain. I'm just going to take it. It's just one horror. Okay. Uh, skulls minus two. If the token uh, has the token has an additional minus one for each innocent reveler underneath the agenda deck. Interesting. Okay. So agenda deck, not act. If you look at it right now, we am under the agenda deck with this or the oh, act. Oh, right. okay. You put them under the act. Oh, you put them in different places. So putting them under the act deck is us saving them. Um, and I will draw mine. Abduction. Test mine three. Okay, so it is below the threshold for Call by the Mist. I don't take a damage. Uh, if you fail, you must either lose all of your resources or choose and discard now. I ask that you control. Well, I'm about to possibly lose seven resources, which oh. actually isn't as bad as it seems with with so because like money is not bad. So I'm either going to get a free action or yeah, whatever. Star. Um. <laughs> Given what my hand is, I'm gonna choose to autofill. You're gonna autofill, really? Auto -fill and lose seven resources. My hand costs a whopping six dollars total, of which I'm not gonna play fight or flight for an eternity. And yep. my chainsaw right now, I don't need to play because I'm with you. And because if I play it, I'm gonna lose my old key ring. So I know oh. as weird as that is, I'd rather have the extra action. That's so interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It heals me for one, so I know that's a strange decision, but I think right now, especially because I have two live and learns in my hand, I think I'm I think I'm in a good spot. Um, I know it's bizarre, but we're gonna do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so um, I guess I need to go first to get you the clue. Yep. Right. Yep. So I'll fast action the best on myself here. Um, action one and two is gonna be discard call by the miss. Pop, pop. Um, now, action three is going to be to use a key from the old key ring. And that will be, I'm um, on action three, so this will make this a shroud is zero, um, because it's a one. Yep. And then quick learner minus two. Yep. So I just want to get these clues as fast as I can. Okay, I succeed. So that's one clue. Oops. Um, okay. And then second, um, You are on your last action now, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on, sorry, I'm on my fourth action. Yep. Do I want to use this? Actually, yeah, I think I'm fine using this for right now. Um, okay, so um, it's a minus four, but I do not fail because it was shroud zero. Oh, so that's right, six, that's right. Because um, it's two quick learners plus old key ring. Yep. That's why uh, it's a shroud zero, so even though I went to zero, I still met it. So two Sweet. Clues. All right, so I am done, and now you can. Oh, oh, oh! Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just gonna rewind. I have to actually spend a clue to flip this. I have to do it. Oh, because you. Can do that. Oh, I I'm can't spend your clues. There. You can't spend my clues. Uh, so I'm sorry, okay. guys. I'm I'm going to just even though I succeeded because I succeeded and there's no other consequence. I'm just gonna rewind in time and not do that, I'm going to spend my fourth action to spend my one clue, leaving the other on the location, yep. and I'm just going to flip this. Yeah, just flip it. I flip it. It hops onto me and socks me for two horror, which is great. Okay, yeah, fight, fight, fight. fight or flight, dude. <laughs> Get that so, on. Um, this guy, ironically, is kind of a pain in the ass for you to fight, but I think you'll still be okay. All right, so hold on. His, his fight value is equal to the attack. Oh, so he's a five to a five for me on fist. I see. So the he's base actually, value, okay. He's actually, uh, oh yeah, the base value. Yeah, yeah. So seven to five. Yeah. What are you up to on him? Oh, I'm, I'm eight, eight to five, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, so this should be easy. 
Um, and as far as I'm concerned, you can just punch him while he's on me if you'd like. It uh, doesn't matter. I'm worried about yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like there's only... It's only elder things and tentacles uh, that uh, I'm worried about. There's a minus six in the bag. There's a minus um, six? Okay. There is one minus six, one minus four, and then one elder thing. So there, and then uh, the auto fail. So that's four tokens out of nineteen, I believe. So you're you're at about like an eighty percent chance. Eighty percent chance. Okay, that's not a bad. Bit less. Eighty percent. Okay. Um, because I could also get over here and just punch him too. Um, but I don't even know if I want to. Like, do I? Do I waste that now? I think, I think just try swinging at him three times. And if you miss once, then play an action to do the extra damage. You know? Yep. Like, okay. just yeah, raw true. swing at him three times. Okay. I'm fine with it. All right. Here we go. I'm going to punch him once. First action. going to punch him. Um, everybody, I'm a five. Uh, gloves give me two. So six, seven. Greek gives me uh, one more. That's eight. And he is my base of five. So eight to five. Minus one. Okay. So succeed. Punch number two. Oh, he does have retaliate, which we're a little late to the party oh. about. So um, now, so you are going to hit me for one, and he's going to hit you for two. For two hard, right. right? Yeah, so that's rough. Okay. But now this is that opportunity where you can um, get over him if you want. Yeah, I'm going to do get over here. Right here. Uh, I'm going to engage him um, and fight him as a fast action. Uh, eight to five. Elder thing. Reveal another token. If you f if you fail this test, you'll have the top card of the counter deck. Okay. I do not fail. Um, I do two damage to him with my passive, so he's dead. And he's a, and he's a victory one. Yeah. Oops, oh, sorry. And you actually have one action left. Um. Oh. I forgot. You can use Greet to get this clue if you want. Yeah, I which can use is Greet to get the clue, and I can also use my gloves now to do something else. Um, yeah, yeah. So let's do that. Getting... It's huge. Let's uh, let's do a damage to Greet. Okay. Grab the clue. Okay, I'll grab it off the location. Yep. I'm gonna grab. Uh, I'm gonna use my gloves because I defeated an enemy. I like it. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, I could do the glory thing and draw two cards. Sure. Yeah, I mean, if there's no other enemies to fight right now... Yeah. Um... I'm going to grab Glory. Okay. So shuffle that up. And... The downside is you can just draw two weaknesses with this, which would be really oh, yeah, funny. I know. <laughs> sad. So, uh, pay one, fast. After you defeat an enemy, draw two cards. I'm going to draw two cards. Uh, okay. okay. Finally be happening. Yep. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, and I have one more action. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You sure do. Because yeah. Because that, that was, was all fast. all fast actions there. Um. Huh. What do we do? Do I move forward? I just walk. Yeah. Yeah. Because now we got to start moving. Now we got to move. So walk forward. Yeah. What up, time roller in chat? What's going on? Location. Wait. Hold on, do we misread? Wait, did I misread her ability? Have I been playing this wrong all these years? Move f from her location to a connecting location or to her location from a connect location connecting to it. Oh, you can't go this way. Okay, hold on. Wait, no, you no, can't. move from her location to a connecting location. Oh, th oh this is not connected. Right? Oh, no, it is connected. No, it is connected just, because this connected is connected. Venetian Garden's connected here to this. Yeah, it's just connected one way. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, still yeah. it's still connected to it, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah, that guy's. There you go. All right, we're good. All right. Um. All right. So we're done. Enemy phase. Nothing. Um. Wait. Wait. Did you go? Didn't I go first to get the clue? That was his turn, right? I no, had to we get did. The clue, we're so... on the second turn, right? Because we did bad cards. Yeah, this this was the second turn. So I I went first. Oh yeah 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 yeah. There was okay, a fast yeah. action. Got the clue, then spent the clue so that it yeah yeah yeah. On. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So then now we're on upkeep. Upkeep. All right. Okay. And now we're on doom and gloom. 
Doom, two of eight. And bad cards. Uh, Carnivale Sentinel, three, three, three. Spawn the location across from you, retaliate. You cannot look at the other side of mass carnival goer like uh, goers at the Sentinel's location using the ability on Act 1A. So we can pay for the ability on the card itself, but not the Act ability. Okay, I, so... I guess this is the one across from me? Yeah. Okay. All right, and I got a writhing appendage. Okay, so this thing pops out. Um, so this is a weird tentacle comes out of the water. Um, he'll make me discard cards if I'm bad, but yeah. That's, All right. Uh, something something tells me that the that uh, Sindathqua is is pretty badass. There's a lot of cards that are now referencing this other card. <laughs> might be a, he might be an important part. Okay. Um, so. What we could do is you could go first and then on your turn I could move myself to you and then you could fight this appendage on me or for me. Yeah, on I'm your fine, turn. fine with that. Okay, because that would like free me up and then that way I don't have to like, I mean, evade it. I mean, I could always evade it, but it's kind of a pain. So if you're cool with that, then I'll, I'll use her on your turn right now Yep. to come over to you. Cool. And then you can finish out your turn. All right, now it's my turn. Uh, now we got this dude. Uh, I don't want to use a... Oh, I can clean him out. You kill with me punching him while it's on you? Yeah, yeah I'm totally fine with that. Okay, cool. Let's Take clean him out. Money. I'm going to get two bucks for that. When the when this action begins, gain two resources. I am an eight, two a two. Seems good. Boom, All correct. Right. And with my passive, I just destroy it. So, um, his second ability doesn't go off because Big Yucky's not in play. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Pop. All right. All right. And now I have two more actions. Um, ooh, what do I want to do here? Oh, I defeated somebody, so I'm going to use my gloves. Yeah, yep. Whoops, I always do that. There you go. What am I going to grab here? Um, Counter Punch, Monster Slayer... Yeah, I kind of punch a monster slayer because I already have a one-two punch in my hand. Um, I might take good. the monster slayer. Okay, dude, we need to get you safeguard. Safeguard is actually gonna be insane on this mission. We gotta. Oh, I know, I know. I was really close to using my two XP to get the the safeguard that lets me just go everywhere with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, that's going to be so sick. All right. Uh, what else do I have? I have two more actions. I think I'm just going to move forward. Okay. So move forward for the second action. Let's see what this is. Uh, Rialto Bridge. Um, the Ponte de Rialto is the oldest bridge spanning the Grand Canal. It has endured for centuries, but even its stone may crumble should you fail. Oh, should you? Yeah, fail. Uh, two Shroud, one Clue. Uh, it's connected to the next location clockwise. After you reveal the bridge, you lose an action. Oh, interesting. After you leave. Um, yeah, after you leave. Gotcha. And then I have one more action now. Um, I could... Is it dangerous to flip? Um, I mean, it. it's... It's a risk. I don't know how dangerous dangerous is, per se. Right. Um, am I like if it hits me for some, if it hits me for horror, then that kind of sucks. Did, did I? Did I have cards go missing? Why did I only have three cards in my hand all of a sudden? Did you take my my cards on accident when you when you drew stuff? I I was at like six cards. Uh no, I don't think so. Hold on, I'm gonna search my deck. This is really weird. Oh I yeah, at... here's a live and learn. Okay. Here's a fighter flight. I have to okay. I was a chainsaw. Like... I don't know okay. how that happened. Think, oh, and here's a neither rain nor snow. Right. Okay, yeah, that looks like my hand. That it was a seven cards, I think. Okay. I was like, what, what happened to all my resources? Okay, gotcha. Um, well, okay. So if you flip it, you're gonna get hit by it once now, and then if I don't, well, okay. If it's an enemy, 
Only if it's an enemy. It'll hit you once now, then once in the enemy phase, unless like I take it off you and evade it or something. Okay. Uh, it depends upon how likely you think it is to be an enemy. One of them we've already seen is an enemy. It depends upon how much you think, how many of these you think are enemies versus how many are not enemies. So yeah. I'll leave it up to you. Like, yeah. um, you know I, have my... I might, since this is a two shroud, I might just like maybe go for a, a 2v2 on the investigate. Okay. okay. Um, because there's nothing really, If the only thing that's really bad is if I get a cultist, right? Um, yeah, and even then it's not like that terrible. Yeah, it's not that terrible. All right, so I'm going to do a 2v2 investigate. Okay. Uh, minus one, so I fail. Okay. okay. You're up. And I will, uh, I'll go. Um, I'm going to move as action one. Okay. I didn't get my, no, I got the writing pen to just turned, so I'm next action. Action two, um, do I want to attempt to get this clue or do I want to potentially leave it for you if there's an enemy? What do you think? Uh, how many clues do you have right now, zero? Yeah. So you could, I guess are I you get saying the get the clue and then and then reveal? Oh yeah, you still have one clue, yeah. don't you? You know what, never mind, I'm gonna try for it. I'm gonna try for it, no, not reveal this turn. Okay. Not reveal this turn. Um, I think I'm gonna wait one turn. So I'm gonna try for it right now. I'm uh, even. I, I mean, uh, quick learners turned off. Yep. For this. Yeah. So, so you I'm are two to two. V two. Yep. I'm just gonna try it because it doesn't matter. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna choose to fail that. So you get your extra one action. One yep. And get my extra action. Um, I'm getting a little lag. Sorry, I should be eight seven now, right? Yep. Eight seven. Or no, I should be seven seven eight. I seven. Think. Yep. Seven eight. So, um, third action, um, I'm going to attempt it again. Now it's a Shroud Zero. Yep. Um, so good that's thing a, is a that's Shroud That's a succeed. Zero. That's a success. That is a success. Love it, dude. And uh, I think I'm going to go and maybe get a dollar here just so I can like be a tiny bit closer to my chainsaw. Yeah, that but sounds good. Money-wise, actually, I'm doing just fine. My whole hand is still I can't believe you lost seven resources and it really wasn't that bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That would no, have that's destroyed why, me. That's why I did it. I know, I know. That's Survivor's crazy like that. Um, okay, so we are done. All right. Um, so no enemies. No enemies. Oh, actually, there's an um, enemy over here, but he doesn't do anything. That's right. He doesn't hunt. He just sits there. Yep. Um, okay. So then we ready her. Yep. And upkeep. And, yep. I got a winging in it. Oh, I got safeguard. Nice. It's on, dude. That's it that's actually on. really really big deal. Uh, Doom is three of eight. Damage. Okay. And we're going to do bad cards. All right, Chaos in the Water. Test foot four, another one of my favorite tests. Um, each investigator who controls an innocent reveler must also perform this test. And nobody's controlling anybody. Each investigator who t fails takes a damage, um, and it goes to an innocent reveler first. So I'm, it's, I'm a two to a four. Um, and I don't think it matters to take damage. I can take damage all day. Sure. All right. Two to a four. Minus one. Fail. Take a damage. Okay. I'll rip a Carnival Cent Carnival Sentinel. Yep. Same thing as you did. He's going to pop over to this location. Uh, right. Yep. So uh, this is going to be kind of annoying. We have some some stuff in our way, but... The nice thing is you have the ability to get clues off of them with either a, with either a greet or you have um, what's it called in your deck, uh, scene of the crime. Scene of the crime. Yep, totally. Yep. Okay. Well then, so here's the deal with this, right? If you get this and it is, it is a masked reveler. I mean, uh, uh, innocent reveler. Then you can still use her to bring you back. Right. And that can go for either one of us. So. Which one of us do we want to go first? Um, I have one clue on me. You have one clue on you. Yeah. Um, if it's an enemy right now, it'll come out and hit me. I think it's better for an enemy to come out and hit me. And the reason is, like, I have a giant pool of, of health and sanity. If something swings at you and it's... Yeah, it and it's horror. Before, that could be dangerous. Whereas, I feel like right now... Me spending a clue potentially getting hit again, I don't care about. Yeah. So okay. I think that's my plan. You cool with that? Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm fine. 
Okay, so then I'll go first. I'll spend one clue, and I'm going to flip this. It is an innocent reveler. Okay. okay. So this is how they work. We have to parlay with them at uh, book two. If you succeed, you take control of it. Um, if it dies to either its health or sanity or something else right there, that's what puts down to the agenda deck. I see. Yes. Okay. Okay, this is okay. This is actually scary now because are all innocent revelers like this? Do you all do you parlay with all the innocent revelers? I don't know if you want me to answer that. Okay, because because I'm thinking that if you if you end up parlaying with a lot of them, I have a really bad weakness in my deck called what have you done uh, from the murder <laughs> hotel, which 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 lets me um, which makes me not parlay with anybody. <laughs> okay, but look at it this way. I don't think you ever need to parlay with them if they're all like this. Okay. That's my job. Got it. You just kill enemies. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm cool with that, but it's just like, that would suck later. <laughs> I get you. I get you. Um, okay, so I'm going to go as action two here. Um, I don't have a free action yet, but I'm going to go attempt to parlay her. Okay. I'm going to be a two, two, a two. I fail. Yep. If you fail, do I one damage actually, or one heart to the nearest innocent reveler. I actually have to hurt her for one. I'm going to put one physical damage on her. Okay. Um, which sucks. Yeah. Um, I need to. Well, I guess if I draw that again, I can go horror on her. So I'm going well, to attempt it again. Yeah. And now but but no right test. now, right now you're uh, to a zero, right? It's parlay to yeah. zero. Right. Oh, and this only goes off if you fail. Yeah. Yep. So we're good. Okay. So I'm just going to rip it. I pass. Yep. Um, which means I take her. Then what I'm going to do is fast action with the Bessa to shove myself this way. Yep. And then my last action is going to be to do the act on the Basilica to take her and put her underneath the, the act, act deck. deck. Yep. I guess we'll put it here like this. Cool. So one down. Sweet. Um, we're good. And that was my turn. All right. Your go. My go. Um... Do I want to just move forward and see what's up? Uh, pardon me. Actually, you know, I'm going to spend two resources. I'm going to play safeguard. Um, and then, and then I will move. Second action, okay. I'll move over here to the canal side. Um, canals course through the city's main uh, many islands lined with gondola uh, trageti and other boats the, the redolence of the festival clashes with the pungent odor of the water here the music of the carnival is faded replaced by the sound of the gentle sloshing against the docks and canal walls uh, two shroud one clue um, reaction after you enter canal side place one clue uh, on the canal side from the token bank oh, I'm sorry Okay, so and I lost an lost action, an action from, from the I also lost an action leaving there. So I don't have her on me yet. Which I means you didn't turn. activate her fast action and you're still here. No, no, I'll, I'll activate, I can still activate her fast action. Okay. I, I could do something before I do that since I'm going to lose an action anyway, so I'm just going to get a dollar. Okay. Then I'm going to activate her fast action and then lose an action I don't have. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about that. So, too. so I played safeguard, I lost an action, I moved, and I just revealed this. That's, that's my whole turn. Oh, that is, yeah. It, it's annoying this is here for the beginning of the mission, but I guess it's better that it's here now than later. Yeah, and then we add another clue, right, here, because I entered it? Um, yes. All right. The yes. water ripples and swells, causing some boats to sway in an even capsize. You make a mental note to stay away from the docks. All right. Okay. So... Um, well, that was a quick turn because of that. So I guess we're on to enemy phase. Yep. Which is nothing. These guys will sit here. Yep. Um, we upkeep. Right, we're going to unexhaust her. I get a mob enforcer, which is actually kind of annoying right now. Um, Ooh, okay. Okay. All right, we're going to do doom right? for a bait. And bad cards. Uh oh, lost in Venice. It's a blunder, everybody. Um ooh. Um, I'm going to ooh, where am I? I'm gonna move to the location across from me. I'm just that gonna reveal. Makes things. sense. 
All right, so this okay, is really. the uh, the streets of Venice. Two shroud, two clue. Um, fast action move to the location in the clockwise direction. Interesting. Okay. Um, so I could actually, I could actually fast action move and get closer to you if, if you need me to deal with this mob. I'm not too worried about it. I'll just, I'm just going to pay this guy off. I don't care. Oh. I don't need money. <laughs> Like it's, it's amazing. Not a thing okay. That Stella's needs. Okay. Um, so, uh, okay. So then my bad card is um, chaos in the water. Okay. So this would be really, really bad right now if I didn't have a little bit card called neither rain nor snow. Yeah. Um. So uh, I'm just gonna play that and um, draw a token and hope I fail. Yep. And you do. Yeah. Um, so I will deal, I will choose to deal her a horror. Oh no, actually this stops. That stops all, all the effects. effects. Yeah. I will do, I will deal nothing to her, Yep. but I will still fail the test. I think, hold on, let me check. It is a foot four. No, I'm a seven minus three. I actually pass. Damn. It's a minus. Oh, okay. uh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the elder thing, not the, uh, the tablet. Yeah. No, I actually pass, unfortunately. Okay. Um, I wanted to fail that one bad, uh, but I don't have uh, Granny out. Yep. Oh, Granny also can't make me fail. She can only just make me fail worse. So, anyway, we're good. Um, so yeah, right now I don't know if it matters which one of us goes first at this point. Um, if you want to go first to see if that somehow changes things, go for it. But um, hmm. Like to flip this guy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And then, because you can always bring it up here if it's a, a reveler, right? That's true. Let's do it. So I'm going to spend uh, one clue. I'm going to okay. flip. Uh, innocent reveler, uh, parlay, two book uh, to convince the reveler to follow you to safety. If you succeed, take control. Um, I can't. Well, I can. Oh, yeah. I can parlay. I can try. Yeah. If you don't think you can do it, you can always just leave that there and move on. Um, it's your call. Like, I don't know. It, cause if you can get it, it could be huge. We'll have two under here really fast. Yeah. But if you can't, like, you're just going to have to... I guess he's worth two book on his own, right? Yeah. Randall's I'm thinking about two. pitching the brother right now. Yeah, if you can if you can get it, and, and actually, you could also pitch your prepared for the worst if you want to, because, like, you already have your gloves. Yeah. Um, that could... I, I mean, I'm gonna, yeah, big. I'll pitch both of them. That's, like, one, two, three more book. So I'm a five to a two here. Which is pretty darn good. It's eighty percent here. Like it. So five yeah. to two for the parlay. Come on, minus one. I got it. That's huge. That's huge. Okay. So let me grab. Uh, let me grab my reveler. Well, you can actually like get here right now because what you have. I can fast what, action. action. Right. Your way up here. And then I can exhaust her. And you can exhaust her. Come here. And then your last action can be to turn in. The reveler, right? Yep, that's it. That, uh, wait, hold on. I spent or, or one action to flip her. I spent another action to parlay. Fast action, fast yeah, action. Three, no, you're, you're right. Three. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. That's that's huge. That was so big. I can't even. Oh my god. It. Yes, I feel really good. I did um, something I wasn't supposed well, to be able to do. This is great. Yeah. That that just made life a lot easier. Yeah. And now um, I'm in the okay. location with you with the safeguard. This feels great. <laughs> yeah, that that's actually also true. Um, so I'm gonna first action pay off this mob and force it for four dollars. Yep. Um, second action, I'm going to turn in my innocent reveler. Perfect. That gives me one action left unless I can fail something, which there's nothing really to fail now. So I'm gonna move. All right, and I'm gonna go with you. Yep. Um. Yeah, it sucks. If I could have double moved here somehow, then we would both be losing a, a thing from this. But I think there's no way. Yeah. But I feel good about it. But if you go first, if you go first next turn, I can I can safeguard with you, right, and not lose an action. You're still losing it because it's still after you leave it. Ah, uh, okay, got it. Yeah. So um, if there's no enemies that come out though, you could do like your full turn and set up, and then I can bring you with me. Yeah. So there's that. Okay. Well. uh... Then we're on enemy phase. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. Upkeep. So let's uh, unexhaust 
upper. Awesome. Yes. Upkeep. I picked up a scene of the crime. That's pretty good. That's yeah. That's actually great right now. Oh, um, actually, we could set this up where you get these two clues. If I go, if you yeah. go, and this is an enemy, yeah. Yeah. I can safeguard okay. with you. Just scene of the crime. Right. Right. Well, then let's throw the doom on and just let's see how things yeah. work out with this. Uh, Five of eight. Uh, this agenda deck. All right. Bad cards. Uh, revelation attached to the nearest location in the clockwise direction with no acrid miasma. Is that our location then, or, or the next one? Uh, the nearest in clockwise, so it's actually here. That's kind of annoying. Okay. And uh, Forrest, when an investigator enters attached location, he or she tests mine two. Uh, if failed, that investigator should either take a damage or horror or resolve the hunter keyword on each enemy in play. What's interesting about this is if there are no hunter keywords in play, can you choose that or no? Oh, because it has to it has to change the game state and got it so all right that is not a legal option from how i understand the rules okay um and i draw a mass hysteria peril okay great i'll choose uh to pick up and shuffle the carnival goers that we have no information about yeah, that's fine. So one, two, three, four, and ironically, they actually go to the exact same location. Yeah, this is like this is like starting. no harm, no foul here. Right. Yeah, it didn't actually change anything. Oh. Um, so okay. Cool. So in this case, then, we want me to go first. I think so. To try to set you up. Right. Yep. Okay. So um, action one. I move. All right, I'm going to safeguard with you. When we both lose one action. Yep. So I have one remaining. You have two remaining. I have two remaining. Um, both make this test, so I'm going to attempt this test and hope to fail it, yep. but I'm probably not going to. In fact, I can only fail it on a tackle. I don't fail it. Yep. I'm on my third action, so to me it's a zero. Yep. So to you, um, you have to test it as well. Oh, I have to test it now? Yeah, because it's when you enter. All right, so I'm a two stuff. to a two. Yeah, I don't uh, have anything good to help you with. It's just one it's damage. It's fine, yeah, I'll just take it. Yeah. Uh, plus one, so I, or, I pass it. You actually pass it, Sweet. okay. <laughs> All right, so um, now my last action. Oh, I don't have any. I don't have any clue right now, so I can't actually do this. But I can try to get one of these clues um so yeah uh, our our plan's a little yeah because yeah yeah this. we didn't we, we forgot that you didn't have a clue yeah um so i'm just gonna go and, and just uh yeah rip this i'm free gonna clue. play winging it just to get this in the discard pile okay that's the only reason i'm doing it so that i can later yeah, play you were, it. it was you were already gonna win this one yeah it's a minus two um i do pass yep i get a clue which I'll put on to my character sheet. Um, and that was my final action. And this is now in the discard pile. Yep. I'm putting it off the side so I remember it's there. Okay. Um, all right. So. You could just scene of the crime right now to get that clue. I know it's not worth, you're not getting two, but it would allow you to like have it for later. I don't think that's necessarily how can I see near the crime? We don't know if this is an enemy. No, you uh, see near the crime. You don't have to play it when there's an enemy there. You just get an extra clue if there is. Oh, I see. I see. One clue right now for. Yeah, which... let's let's do it. Let's just. Yeah. See the crime. Like let's get it. Yeah. Together, like... I like having the yeah, clue on is... hand. Yeah, because of how these guys work, I think it's like really good. All right, and now I have one action left. Um... Which I might just emergency cash and get bucks. I don't know why I would need them, but um, so I can play Dynamite yeah. Blast just in case. <laughs> I had to play like Monsters Transformation, but I don't know if you actually want that right now. No, it's a fast action too, so I can play it whenever. Yeah, it is a fast action. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I might just yeah. play emergency cash because I can. I don't know what else to yeah, do. Yeah, I like that. Was that? 
Um, anything wrong with that? Yeah, I think that that seems good. That good. seems good. And I exhausted that. Cool. That's it. Uh, so enemy phase. Um, nothing. Yep. Uh, upkeep. Okay. Okay. And uh, doom. Doom. Six of eight. Bad cards. Uh, mass hysteria. Either do this, or I think we, I think we're gonna do the shuffle. Okay. You got it. Yep. <laughs> it makes sense to me. All right. One, two, three, and four. So it, it actually goes like this. Because it's the location in front of us. Oh, it's I see. Our I see. Location. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, oh, when we entered this, when we both entered this, were we supposed to put more clues on this thing? There should be two more clues on it. Yep. Which right. means. Okay, okay, yeah. That's good. Right. Um, then my bad card is a. Watcher's Gaze. Yes. Fail this, Stella. Yeah. Come on, Stella. You can do it. <laughs> you just got to fail one time for me. Big money, big money. Minus two. Three minus two is one. One is less than four. Oh man, I take a horror. Yep. Too bad. Get in action. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Finally. Whew. Okay. Okay, that's fantastic. All right. Um. So, uh, how do you want to handle this turn? Do you want me to like pull you for free? Um. Do you want me to like try to grab a clue or two, then move, and then pull you for free? How do you want to do it? Uh. Either, either or. I, I think you going first is probably um, is probably the right Good. move. Okay, then what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to get a dollar as my first action. Yep. I'm going to... This is a two. I'll be even. Um, yeah, I'm going to go... Actually, I want to save this card for you, I think. I think I'm going to save Perception for you. I think I'm going to get a dollar as my second action. My third action, I'm going to be... I'll pick up a clue. Okay. Uh, so it's a shroud zero because of quick learner. Yep. So I succeed. Yep. So that puts me at two clue. Pop. Um, and then my fourth action will be to move forward one space. Okay. And I will safeguard with um, you. So Academia Bridge, the long and narrow Pont de Academia is one of only four bridges that span the Grand now many pairs of yellow eyes gaze at the bridge from the academy's high windows seemingly waiting for you to cross all right pop um after you leave here lose two bucks okay all right two shot two bucks uh two clues okay here you go all right um i think we're going to flip right what do you think yeah i'm in yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, I'll spend a clue, and I will flip. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't expect to see that. Well, okay, so I have a perception in my hand I can use to try to help you grab her, if you'd like. Um, but if I hold on to her, I have to carry her all the way around, right? Yes, you do. Okay. So the, I guess the other choice is, is you could leave her here and actually go on ahead. And then, which kind of clears the way for me to then carry her. Yeah, carry her and get the clue and like I'm just blocking. Yeah, yeah. Part of me also wants to play my kerosene now. Um, okay. Well, you have a couple different actions, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to spend three bucks uh, to play kerosene just to get that online. Okay. Uh, and now I have one more action left. Uh, if I move, I'm just going to get moved up on this guy, and then he's going to hit me, right? Yeah, so if you want to wait, that's fine. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait. Uh, but what can I do here in the meantime? I might just try to do for a two for two uh, investigate just to grab this last clue so I have a clue. Okay. Whoa. Um, oh. I could pitch you perception. What's that? I'll pitch you perception because I want you to have a clue. Okay. If okay, no. Well, here's the only question. If you 
if we get her and turn her in, she's the last one we need. So in theory, we don't need to look at any of these other ones. But if they're enemies, we potentially get VP out of it. So do you want to get a clue and, and fight these guys or not? Oh, I see what you're saying. We only need three revelers. We only need three to progress the act. So, I mean, we don't know if the next one calls for more or if three is the total amount. Um, I don't mind giving you my perception at all. I don't feel like... I, I almost perception. would rather you use your perception to grab her from the parlay. Um, well, I'm not worried. I'll, I mean, she's a zero. She's a, It's a zero test for me after my third action. So I'm, I'm not worried about getting her. Okay. Um, but like it, it's fine. I mean, I, I even have like other book in my hand I can pitch. Like I'm not okay. Read about it. So because I don't. Yeah, uh, I'm not moving. So so I'm either trying to investigate or I'm just going to get a buck or get a card. Like that's all I'm going to do right now. Okay. Um, then I think try to investigate. If you want to go for these guys, this is a turn where you have an action. Yeah. You could easily go and get a clue so i think i think use my perception okay cool so i'm uh if i use your perception i'm a four to a two here we go uh zero so i i snatch what um one clue and get a, get a card i get the card oh you get the card i'd rather you have it but it's whoever played it okay okay cool So, uh, then we're done. Yeah? Yep, that's me. So no enemies. So we uh, upkeep. I have to discard a card now. Cool. Um, Thank you so much for the resub, Kitsume, by the way. I will discard my Derringer I just drew here. All right. So um, my blood is boiling as the, as the full moon rises. And now I must hurt. I must hurt people. I must yeah. start messing up. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Well, then uh, doom us up to seven of eight. Seven of eight. Bad cards. Chaos in the water. Always. Um, ooh, each investigator who controls... and Okay, nobody controls her yet, right? Nah, we're good. Yeah. It's just you. Yep. Probably taking another damage. Yeah, yeah. Two to a four. Minus one, I fail. I take another damage. Okay. I will reveal a mesmerize. Um. There is not a carnival goer at my location. Um, because this is not a mass carnival goer. It is now a nuisance reveler, so this actually gets discarded and gains search. Okay. If yeah, so right, that's how right, that right. works. Um, so we we can shuffle these again. Uh, I can't talk to you about this, but I'm going to do it. We're going to shuffle these again. Okay. Um, so I know we basically lose out on a single clue, but my logic is like now we don't have to bring her as far. And so there's less chance of me like getting her injured while she's on me. If these things weren't here, I wouldn't do this. But wait a but minute. Because they're here. You only you only shuffle mass carnival goers, but she was revealed to be an innocent reveler already. Oh wait, you're right. So you only you only actually shuffle the other three. Starting with location clockwise. Okay, you're right. You're right. Hold on. Let me go and find. Yeah. Here, don't don't look. I, I I already know information. Okay. So this goes back here, and I'll shuffle these up. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. That it's the same thing. Yeah. I thought that it actually flipped her, but I guess it doesn't. Yeah. Um. Oh, and uh, and and thank you so much for the resub, talking fedora. If I didn't chat you out before. Best talking hat on Twitch. Yes. So basically, you're horribly punished if you spend two clues to look at the other side of an enemy. In case you haven't noticed that yet. Yeah. Like, so as long as you can tank the hit, it seems it's it's matter. worth the risk. Anyway, yeah. yeah. We're done then. Um, so now we're in a position where 
I don't know which one of us is better to go first. If I go first, I move you into a location, but then you have to fight an enemy on me, which I don't mind doing because like I have a lot of stats. Yeah. So I'm fine giving you the free move if you'd like me to go first. Um. So it, wait, hold on. If you move, wait. If we move in, they just jump on you. They don't actually hit you, right? Um, right. Retaliate right. is only when you hit them and fail, right? Is it when you swing at them and and miss? Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, no, I mean I'm I have no problems going in here, um, and then like cleaning them out, doing some other stuff to them, like. Like yeah, I, I think you should carry the reveler, and I and I should just go ahead and forge ahead and start killing things. Well, I'm saying that, but I'm saying if I go before you, I'll go get the reveler last action move in there, then you can come in with me, and then it's kind of like you got a free move out of it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. I'm still gonna so, get yeah, the reveler. Good. Okay. Um, then what I'm gonna do here is uh, first action. I'm going to attempt to get the reveler. Um, you should fail it, right? What the fuck? One, don't I? Oh, I I fail anyway. You fail anyway, yeah. I fail anyway. Okay, so, so you should auto fail, heal both, I, and then get the extra action. I, yeah. Yes. Second action. Um, I'm now even. Yep. Two to two. Um. And you get her. Plus one. Sweet. Uh, third action. I guess I'm just going to play a card because I'm going to lose it anyway. This card is probably one I'm going to take out of my deck, but my dream was to have it around for Chainsaw. Mm. So uh, okay. now I, I have it around for Chainsaw. Um, fourth action is to move. So when I enter, this thing hops on me. I um, safeguard with you. We both lose two dollars. We both lose two dollars. Yep. The look at the bridge of size with a pang of discomfort. You imagine how disheartening the view would be from inside the enclosed bridge, looking out of its cramped windows. Leave here, take one horror. Okay. Um, I don't care about that. You do. Uh, yeah, but I have my kerosene out so I could start healing a little bit. Nice. Okay. Well then, uh, that was my fourth action. Okay. I am done. Cool. Uh, now I can punch something that's on you because I need to for my okay. werewolf mode. Uh, I'm an yeah. eight to a three if I punch him. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And you don't care about punching stuff no. on you. And even if you hit, it turns off your werewolf rage, so we're good. So uh, I think I have to hit him once with a card and my passive. Or once with werewolf form and your passive. Oh yeah, it's time to get it's time to get the brain down the two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let me let me let me clean him out first. Um, so let okay. me fight. I'm gonna get two bucks. Okay. I'm an eight to a three. Cultist, reveal another token. Zero. So okay. I, I succeed. So, I do so you can do one to him with this or two. I'm gonna do two damage to this. I'm gonna use my passive okay. on that. I'm gonna okay. exhaust my werewolf rage. Gotcha. Um, and then I can only, uh, yeah, I only have to punch him one more time. So I'm just going to punch yeah, him regular. Right. Okay. Eight to three. I'm going to fail that. He has a retaliate. Okay, He's so, going to hit me for two. So he hits you for two, and I take one. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Okay. And my, matter. oh, great. Now I can't do kerosene. That's okay. Yeah. I mean, it sucks. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Last action, here we go. I was not want you on to do that on. Um. Uh, a minus four, right? No, agenda no, deck. Sorry. No, minus agenda two. Agenda deck, not max deck. So, yeah, so it's just minus two. So I kill him. Okay. I'm going to exhaust dead. my gloves. Um, taking Glory's kind of sketch. Yeah, probably so. Uh, I'm going to grab Counter Punch, I guess, just in case. Yeah, isn't bad. Sure. And shuffle that oh, up. Oh, yeah. Actually, I, I could get a clue. Counter Punch is huge against these. Yeah. That's that's amazing against those. 
Yeah. Um, I think getting a clue is great. I think if you get one more clue, you're probably like pretty close to good on clue. Okay. So I'm gonna do a damage to greet, get a clue. Okay. It took it off. Okay. Cool. Good to go. All right. All right. That's awesome. Okay. So then enemy phase is nothing. Um, I'll keep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Tommy. Tommy's out. Okay. That is fine. Yeah, it'll, I just have the puzzle three times. Little, but no big deal. Um, and he takes less damage even from me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Damn. I was going to chainsaw his face. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we then are on to Doom, which is advances us. Yep. Ooh, okay. So we have a, for some reason I can't enhance it it's all wrote it's not rotated in oh i can i can in rotate but you can use your keys to turn it it's going to turn the other one so just you have to turn them back later but yeah yeah uh baleful uh reveler four ten three so ten health humanoid called this elite uh the nearest location um with no investigators counterclockwise from the lead investigator hunter retaliate force after baleful reveler moves from the hunter keyword reveal a random token from the chaos bag if you reveal a bad symbol, resolve its hunter keyword again. Hits for two and two, victory two. Holy crap! Okay, this this so uh, this boy is no joke. Not, he's not a joke, no. <laughs> um, and he goes here, I believe. N uh, nearest counterclockwise, right? Yeah. Yeah. This will give me no counterclockwise. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, well, bad cards now. We'll see how that feels. Okay. Oh, wait. No, let's read the uh, the new agenda. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, you're right. Um, agenda 2A, the shadow of the eclipse. The clamor and celebration of the carnival has, for the most part, drowned out the terrors you've seen in the city until now. The sun vanishes behind the moon, and darkness overtakes the sky. There is a solitary cry and the sound of crashing water. Within moments... Screams erupt throughout the city, and yet somehow you see revelers still in celebrate, uh, still celebrating with wide, crazed smiles. Doom threshold is three, three. Sure is. Great, awesome. Okay. Bad card time. Bad card time. Let's see how this goes. Uh, a sentinel across from me. Up here. Okay, he's blocking the gates. Yeah. Enemy at the gates. Um, oh, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Oh, wow, yeah. This is perfect. I think oh, my God, this is amazing. <laughs> it, it is. It, it definitely, like, works out as well. So he does hop onto me. Yeah. Which, you know, whatever. Um, but I don't care. Okay. Cool. Um, well, I was going to say, I was going to go and institute a plan that involved us just sitting here, me soaking this hit, and you like tanking this while we waited for that yeah actually you know what maybe i'll do that instead of moving i'm gonna okay look i i can't i can't talk. i'm going for it i'm just gonna move because i already did okay but my logic is this i take two horror i don't care about it because i have fight or flight and i'm a max my idea was we sit here for a turn you flip this over deal with it fight it whatever it is okay then we let this move in. I just take the hit from it because I have a lot of health and sanity. Yeah. And then you and I dogpile it with a chainsaw and a pair of boxing gloves, and we solve the problem. Oh, yeah. As it would so, just like, and, and get a victory, too, out of it. Yes. So I can easily catch up to you, but the issue is he's going to be a pain because he can basically double hunt. Yeah. So you're kind of in a pickle now where you need to like decide if you want to move forward. Ah, crap. I mean, looking at it now, I really actually wish I just stayed there. Yeah. Because actually, because cause I'm spending my entire turn punching Tommy Malloy right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, okay. If if we're okay with it, I'm going to go and, and I'm going to just go with my gut feeling. My gut feeling was not to move and it was to take two horror. Because that protected you and potentially got us two VP and allowed us to sit here for a turn and then I can take his hit. So I, I, I know that it's peril, um, and this is what I, I was originally going to do, but I already moved stuff. But, I mean, like, looking at the whole situation, yeah. regardless of your point of view, I think that this is 
the safest move for our team. I think that's fine. I mean, I mean, honestly, like you made this, you made like a sort of a snap move, um, and and we didn't move forward the game state at all. Um, so, you know, yeah. had and, and had you had we spent five more seconds to think about it, you would have not moved anyway. Right. Yeah. And if your if your opinion had influenced me, I wouldn't do it. But like that was already what I was thinking to do because what I was going to say is we just sit here. You, I was going to say you deal with this. I actually forgot. Yeah, Tommy Malloy on you. Yeah. And let me take this hit and then solve this. So either way, I was going to say let's sit here. Okay. Um, so that's my thought. Okay. okay. So then now, um, that was my card, your card. Okay. So now we sit here. So why don't you try to deal with Tommy? And if you fail for some reason, I can like help you out. Yeah. Oh wait, we want you to be able to use this right now, huh? Yeah. So then I should go first and try to. If you can get like one hit on him, then I can do two hits on him and then use kerosene. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. So then here's how I'm going to do this. Um, action one, play rabbit spell. Action two. Um, I'm going to swing at him while he's on you, unless. That's bad. Um, um, what are you? A three. I'm just gonna hit for damage. Yeah, you're not. Gonna, yeah, I, I have, I have, I can tank some damage. Well, oh, I, I mean, I can take him off you instead if you really want me to. But I can, I can probably kill this guy on my own. You so. Okay, hold. Up. I'll just third action hit him then. It's up. It's up to you, man. Um, I don't so mind if you want to attempt to hit me. Hit yeah, let's let's try to not hit you, just because you have this. Okay. So first action is to play rabbit's foot. Second action is to. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to play rabbit's foot. I need my money. First action is get a dollar. Um, second action is play chainsaw. Oh, that's right. You didn't play the chainsaw before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third action is to attack this guy. I'm not attacking him with the chainsaw. I'm just going to punch him for one damage, and he'll be a zero. Yep. Okay? Um, it It's a skull. It, yeah, doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. You do one damage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're good. That's Here it. Here go. Yep. All right. Uh, first action, I'm going to punch him. I am an eight to a two. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I screwed. I was, like... was going to throw that in. I'm just going to do this yeah um it's fine i'll just lose it okay sorry about that i i, I wanted to go get back my uh, neither rain nor snow but i was gonna throw it in so i'll just yep i lose it go for it okay uh well that was my well this kind of sucks now i'm gonna spend my next two actions hitting him and not doing kerosene it's true it's okay it's true all right second action uh -huh. Uh, eight to a two. Oh my god, I just I just make it. <laughs> and then uh, and then last action. I kill him. Okay. And goes. I can do a few things. Like my boxing gloves. Wow. I'm rip I'm ripping tentacles, dude. Oh my god, my next two cards were were bad, dude. <laughs> that would have been bad. Uh Oh, get over here is actually really, really useful yeah. against that guy. Like, hugely useful. Um, okay. All right. So, we're both done, right? Uh, unless I want to fast action <laughs> get over here, but... <laughs> um, if you do that, he's going to hit you for two and two, which... Yeah, that's not good. You could soak. I think it's better for me to take that hit. Yeah, okay. I think. I mean, the only reason to do it is it lets you immediately counterpunch him. Yeah. But I don't... But I still take it because counterpunch is only great if I can kill the thing. <laughs> well, it's it's also good because it lets you get your... You get to use your passive twice this turn. Once during the investigator phase and once during the enemy phase. Um, I don't know if that's worth... It's not worth... For you, I, I would usually you say... If I got kerosene off that turn, I would have said yes. The only reason to potentially do it is you can get kerosene off next turn, but I don't know. I'm gonna let you decide. Like if you're feeling like this is risky, then I, I feel like this is it. risky. Yeah, it's a little too okay. risky. Okay. Then all right, so we're on the enemy phase. Yep. Um, let me just make sure that this doesn't specifically hunt to one of us. I have to rotate it again. 
Hunter retaliate after he does. It's Hunter keyword again. Okay, so there's no point. It's it's not going to double move in and hit me. Hunter just moves it in to a spot. Yeah. Um. So he just comes in. He walks in. He attempts to resolve his Hunter keyword again. So technically, I draw a token. I don't think it matters. Okay. Whatever. He doesn't hunt again. Now he swings, and I take two and two. I'm not going to put any on the reveler. Okay. Um. Um. Yeah. All right. So then now we. Does anybody else move? Upkeep. No. No. Okay. Upkeep. Oh yeah. This card. This one doesn't help me. Though. Okay. Pick okay. up another one two punch. Huh. Okay, so Doom and then bad cards, and then as long as these bad cards aren't too bad, we should be in a really good spot. All right. Um, uh, mesmerize. If there are no mass carnival goers at your location, negate Surge. I think there is. Yes. There is. Um, so if there is, flip it. If it's an innocent reveler, move it to the farthest location clockwise from you with no investigators and deal one damage, one heart. So let's flip it. It's a bad guy. Which actually means it engages us. Oh, but this one's aloof. Aloof. Awesome. It doesn't awesome. say flip it and unflip it. So she sits here like this. So her downside is she puts out extra doom. So we want to try to kill both of them this turn. Yeah. Which is actually feasible for me to solo this guy as long as I miss once. Yeah. It's like like if you, if you solo that guy, I can solo. I can one shot this thing with like a one-two punch. There is a very good chance that I can kill this guy in one go. Do you want to okay. go first and check it out? Let me uh, let me draw my bad card first. Oh, yeah. Writhing appendage. Okay, this is on me. Um, it's annoying, but it doesn't really change anything for what I'm doing. Okay, so I I might be able to one round this guy, um, and I think that I should be able to. Here's how it's going to go. You ready for this? This is amazing. If you can. Here's how this works. Um, first action, I use my chainsaw on him. Oh, his retaliate. Hold on, his retaliate complicates things significantly. Oh, because you don't want to fail. Yes. Um, okay. God. I really... Okay, okay. You do three damage every time. And you don't have to exhaust the chainsaw. I, I can do three, and then if I have two live and learns, I can proc my failed chainsaw each time, which does a damage and still lets me swing with it. So all I needed to do was fail on my first attempt, and I would have been done one damage, and it wouldn't have cost me my charge. Yep. And then I just needed to hit three more times. The issue is, is retaliate. Right. So the only other way to do this then is I can try to evade him to turn off retaliate and then we'll have to work on him together. Which is fine. It is. It is fine. It's not as good. But it's okay. Yeah. Um, so here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to spend my $1 on fight or flight. Well, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Before you do anything. Okay. I can... Ready? I can fast action on your turn get over here. And punch no, him. fast actions you can only play on your turn. Only if it's if if it's a lightning bolt, I believe. I don't think fast actions can be played when it says they can be played. No, but this one says fast oh. play during any fast. Oh my window. god, you're right. So you so I could I could take him off of you so that if you like you like that means you wouldn't the take the retaliates, right? He will still retaliate on the person who swung at him and missed him. So it doesn't it doesn't quite fix the problem. Uh, um, okay. Okay. What I just needed to do is I just needed to get one damage on him. So I just need to evade him and then carve him up. What's so his evade value gonna, here? Three. My evade value when I play fight or flight is going to be eight. Okay. The amount of horror on you? So, yep. Yeah. Um, so it's my evade will be eight. Um, so I'm just going to go well, wait, wait, But it's the first one. It's the quick learner. So it's eight to, yep. Oh, right. It's eight to five. Right. You're right. You're just plus two. Um, which is still fine. I don't care if I fail this first one because he doesn't retaliate on me. Oh, right, right, right. So, but you passed it. So yeah. it, it's, it's, 
Yeah, eight to five. So it does pass. Yep. It does pass. But yes, I would not have cared if that one failed because that wouldn't have triggered the retaliation. Okay. Um. So, God, I wish I could find a way to like fail this effectively. Second action is to attempt to chainsaw. Um, I really just want to fail this. Um, I don't think I'm going You're to. A three, a... four, oh, five. Maybe. Oh. Five to a four. Five to a four. You I could fail big this. Token. Big token. Big token. You, I, yeah. I do fail. You do fail. Okay. When I fail, because because these docks, multiple things happen. First of all, I can either do one damage to him, or I can put a charge on my chainsaw. I am going to cast Live and Learn, um, and I'm going to put one damage onto him. Yep. No. Or do I put a charge on my chainsaw? Yeah, I put a. Oh. This is. Can yeah, I that's... play two live and learns? If I can play two live and learns, I don't think I can play two live and learns. I don't think I can like go twice. You know what I'm saying? Because if I can play these both, I can, one can be a charge and one can be a damage. I don't think you can. Play, and then I, don't I get think you a can total play both of, like, of these at the same time. Can you? So I think okay. So I think this is how this works. I've never been in this case before, guys. You can check me. We're gonna we're gonna do it this way because, th in theory, this works. Actually, in theory, it does because Wait. because there are other cards in this game, uh, like rogue cards that say limit once per, um, thing, and this doesn't well, say a limit. What's weird is though is that I'm I'm interrupting the test to take it again, twice. Which I think still works. I think I just fully play it out. Okay, yeah, but I think I, you're I right. I think I think this actually does work. So so basically, I'm playing them in the same action window. There's actually a pause between them. So I play the first one, and yep. the first one I play does one damage to him. Yes. By using the chainsaw's fail trigger. Yeah. Okay? And then I get to attempt again immediately with this card without spending a charge. I just get to take the test again. Yeah, with a plus so two skill So then I attempt yep. to take the test again, and I have plus two now. So I am a three, four, five six seven against four okay i auto fail again and so now we can do it without even hypothetically yeah it. yeah exactly now we do this yep and i will choose on my fail trigger this time to get back yep a charge of chainsaw yep and i get to try another time at plus two i'm going to be another seven two four two or four yep minus two okay. that does three damage so it's a total of four now this is technically my second action. I know this is weird, but this is my second yeah. action of four. I now spend another chainsaw charge, so I'm back down to two. Um, and in this case, I will be... Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Attempt one. It was after attempt one. So would if he had had the plus two? What was it we were saying about? No, no, about no. The, your first action was an evade. That was your second action. Right, that was my second action. Yeah, so now you're okay. on your third action. So, yeah. So now I'm on my so third action. So he gets action. a minus two. Um, so you are a five, two of two. Six, seven. Wait, five, two of two. Yes. Five, two of two. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, Reveal another one. Another token? Okay. Okay. So yeah. another three damage. So do another three damage to him. And now my last action, which is my second to last chainsaw charge. Yep, five to a two. Five to a two. Oh my god, did you just one shot this guy? Yeah, I mean like, it was a total of six actions I did that turn basically. Yeah. But, yeah. But yeah, you, yeah, you took you took out a 10 health dude with a four fight stat in one turn. <laughs> yeah. No, this chainsaw and soda. This is why I've been wanting to get it. Okay, so that was my turn. Your turn. Oh my god. I'm supposed to be the fighter here. I'm a, little, I'm a little baby pleb now. I mean, I'm. Hey, if you can kill this thing here, which the nice thing is you have the perfect card because you get a free engage on it with Get Over Here. Yeah, uh, which I'm gonna do. I'm going to spend two bucks. I'm gonna play Get Over Here. I'm going to engage it and fight it all in one fast action, which is pretty dang sweet. Um, 
let's see, I'm a five, six, seven, eight, eight to a three. Okay. Looks pretty good. Uh, minus two. So I do uh, two damage to it. And satiate my hunger. Now um, is action zero. And now I can monster slay this, I think. Yeah, yeah. or you can just play monster's transformation. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, your call. The mind stat at two is, like, so scary, dude. Um, <laughs> but the foot stats of five is actually pretty great. So I am going to go monster form. Okay. We're going monster form. Um, and we're going to do it because it gets plus one damage. So um, another eight to three. Minus one. Bye bye. It's two damage. Yep. Uh, victory one. Sweet. Hell yeah. Um, do you want to kill Gret for the clue or not? Um, well, you still have two. I have two. I don't think we necessarily need this clue. Um, no, I'm not going to kill her yet, but I am going to use my gloves. And uh, and then, like, don't... I'm going to have to do my kerosene, too. But Yeah. All right. Let's look. And I think I'm going to grab another monster slayer. Just to have. But I don't want the glory. So I'm going to have this appendage on me, right? You have how many actions left? Just one? Uh, well, that... Yeah, I have no. I have two. Left. No, you have two. Yeah, because two one left. was a fast action. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um, so then. So yeah, I can I can punch this thing on you. Yeah, punch it on me, and and also use your kerosene. Okay. Punch. Try punching on me once. If you fail, then um, use your kerosene. I don't care about the one damage from it. I, I feel okay. Uh, so do you want me to monster try. slay it so I can actually kill it? Oh, yeah, that would probably be good. Yeah, let me do that. Now that I think about it, because that would be safer. Yeah, so let's do that. Just because I'm a little... Um, a little I'm low. In, it's an 8 to a 2. I'm going to do 2 damage to it. Uh, minus 2, so good. I kill it. Good. If, if you tentacle there, things would have been really bad for us. <laughs> then I'm going to carry Because that thing retaliated, and then I would have taken... The, yeah, okay. Okay. I'm but, really glad that, that did. All right. So, we're done. Yep enemies don't do anything it's just this idiot here okay um and that idiot up there up yeah. oh that's right yeah he is he is blocking the gates all right so we upkeep okay oh, i got a tarot card uh doom two of three and bad cards all right well now with my absolutely awful mind stat <laughs> Yeah, that's why I wanted to get my my neither rain nor snow back. Yeah, so I took two to a four, uh, and then you must also uh, take this test as well. Each investor who oh, fails takes a horror, which must be assigned to an incident reveler, uh, if you can. Okay. Okay. So well, uh, two to a four. I don't think I have anything to pitch. No. Uh, no. I'm down one. Yeah. And it's just gonna have to happen. Unfortunately. Okay. So I don't know why my kerosene charges disappeared. Whoops. Oh God. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm a two to four. Here. Okay. Zero. I fail. I take a horror. Okay. I definitely fail. Um. So she takes one more. Yep. Okay. All right. So, uh, and you're bad things card, are right? A little, a little tighter here. Oh, yeah. Let me see what I get. Yasma. Okay, so this is just going to go here again. When we go in there, we either take a damage or a horror. Yep. Resolve the hunter keyword. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Um, All right. So we just have to make it one, two, three, four areas and, and drop her off, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I can, I, I can literally do it this turn, taking a swing from this guy. That's not necessarily good. Or we just slowly move together over a couple turns. Um, the risk this leads is if a card, if we get a couple of those cards that hit her, but like, it's not super high odds. So I think 
I'm fine kind of taking our time um, over the course of a couple turns. Well, I mean, you, I know you can do it only if I go first, right? And then and then um, and take this guy. Yeah, well, I mean, yes, but like, if this guy wasn't here, I'd be like, screw it, let's do it. Yeah. But I think realistically, that's just going to be, I'm, because I had to take that big hit from the big guy, that's not that's not good. Yeah. So I think we just accept the fact that this is going to advance, go in here, maybe try to get another one of these. Yeah. And then go for it next Okay, turn. yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. You're right, this, okay. guy, this guy's screwing it up up here. Um, we can do the thing again where, like, I go first to give you a free move. Um, the downside is like, so, I mean, I go in, I try to chainsaw this guy and you go for this thing and do something like that. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, cool. Well then, um, I will go. Um, first action is to play rabbit's foot. Okay. Um, second action is to get a dollar. Okay. Third action is to move in here. I will safeguard with you. Right. This thing hops onto me, um, and f final action, um, I swing at him. I'm a three, four, five against a one. Yeah, five to one. Five to one. Do I play this or not? The way that works, do that. Five to one. I'm up for. Yeah, there's not a minus five in the bag, so me going up one won't matter. So I'm just gonna reach. I'm gonna go for it. Yep. So I'm okay. minus two. So you three killed. damage to hit. He's dead. Nice. That was my four actions. Man. Okay. You are just like unstoppable right now. Oh, okay. Do you need to test this? We both need to test this. So I'm going to test um, mind two. It's actually mind zero to me because by the time I moved in there. Yep. Okay. So I don't take any. Okay. And uh, I'm a two to a two. Take a horror from this. Sorry. Um, oh, yeah. I take a horror from leaving that area. Um, yeah. And then I fail this. And what, what happened when I fail this? You take um, a damage or a horror. I will take a damage. Like, yeah. So um, actually right now you can kerosene before you flip this thing. Because uh, an enemy was defeated from your location. Oh, what, at the start of my turn you mean? Is it, it's, it's, it's not a fast action. I mean, one of your actions this turn can do this because I killed something. Oh. So you can. Oh, you can actually even heal this. Like, I don't I don't think we necessarily need to do it. Yeah. But you can actually even heal the Innocent Reveler. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I will take a horror because I know I can heal horror. Okay. If that makes well, then, sense. Yeah. Do you, and you have to exhaust this, right? Okay. Yeah. Because I was going to say you could use it on both of us, but. Yeah, I have to exhaust one. it. Okay. All right, so you well, then, want me to... So it's my turn. You want me to flip this thing, right? Um, either that or use the kerosene before you flip it just to protect yourself. Okay, let's use the kerosene first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think flip this... I mean, the, the downside is, is, like, now you're going to have to try to kill it in one shot or two shots, but you have one-two punch, right? So you should be able to kill yeah, it. I'm, yeah, I have no problems it's... killing anything. So I'm going to spend a clue. Yeah. I'm going to flip this guy. Okay. Uh, Salve your call, Arby. Uh, three five three hunter. While resolving the hunter keyword on Savio, his location is connected to the location across from him, as well as as the clockwise. Interesting. So he moves fast. Wait, so he, does, he hits you for one and one, or I'm going to counter punch him, which won't kill him first. So you're still going to take one and one. Uh oh. So do I want to save the counter punch then? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't well, know. how much? If I want to punch him, how, what can I do? I can do one, two, uh, three, four, four damage. Okay. Whereas if you do this to him right now, you deal three with just this, and then you can deal two with like monsters. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna counter punch him. Okay. Here we go. I am a eight, nine, ten. Ten to a three. Oh, this is also fast action. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. So 10 to 3. Yeah. Okay. Tablet minus 3. So, so you I pass. I do th 3 damage to this boy, I think. Okay. Yep. Then he hits you for 1 and 1. Yep. Yep. And now I, uh, yeah, I think I just monsters attack him. Yeah. For 8 and 3. For just the, this is the next 2. 
and I star, so I kill him. Um, and I can return an event for my hand. Ooh, do yeah. I take the do I take the counter punch again just in case? <laughs> counter punch is really good. Um, the free engage fast is good. Like, there's a lot of really good ones here, man. Yeah. Like, I'm, they're both really good. I don't know. If you're worried about dying potentially, then taking the counter. Yeah, I'm gonna take the counter just... punch. I am. Okay. So then that was only action. That was only your second action, right? Yeah. Once to or no, I guess that was your third. It was once to flip him. Oh uh, no! One one was kerosene. kerosene. One to one to flip him. One to kerosene. One to monstrous transformation made him. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And but um, I still okay. get to do my gloves here. Uh, and I'm gonna crab. Oh, I guess it's glory is the only thing. That's the only spirit event I have left. Okay. Oh no! Stand together is a spirit event. Okay. Six, seven, both. Eight. I mean, it depends on which icon you need. Yeah. Okay. I will keep greet as a meat shield. Oh, there's no. There's no uh, what you call it on this. Oh, we never we never flipped this location. We yeah we never flipped that in all the time. Okay. okay. So uh, three shroud, shroud, four card. clue. The guardian is uh is connected to the next location. After you enter the guardian, draw a card. So so um to be safe, you don't have to any reaction. Yeah. Is, and I'm gonna choose not to. I'm gonna, well. yeah, I'm not gonna she's, do that. You see, yeah, she's not triggered, because okay. I have uh, my rabbit's foot online right now, so I'm not worried about it. Yep. Um, oh wait, oh no, I will because my deck doesn't have any weaknesses left in it. It has zero weaknesses. Both of mine are out. Both my call to the mist and my right. are out. Okay. So, I will draw it. That's fine. Yeah, I have dark okay. packed and, and so. what have you done left in mine? I don't want dark packed. Yeah, yeah, you don't want that now. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so then we're on to enemy face. Um, nothing. Upkeep. Okay. Ooh, um, I got my hollowed mirror. That's nice. That's actually really... I'm glad to hear that, because yeah. that will protect us significantly. Now, unfortunately, we're into this. Yeah. All right, agenda 2B, a sacrifice to be made. The shadow of the eclipse is unrelenting. Throughout the city, a dull chant overtakes the screaming and, it, and the chaos. Its language ancient and morbid. Tentacles course through the canals from the south, weaving beneath the bridges and trapping entire islands within their grasp. If there are one or more mass carnival goers in play, the lead investigator chooses one, flips it to its other side. If its, if its other side is an innocent reveler, place it underneath the agenda deck. If there is a mass carnival goer in play, flip this agenda back to 2A. Otherwise, advance to agenda 3A. Okay. Okay, so this flips, and there is not one left. So it does not go back to 2A. So we go to 3A. Okay, really? Okay. So we flip this, and it's Don this was the Mario. Last one. 443 and he was the last Hunter. One. Uh, while resolving the Hunter keyword, Don. Um, his location is connected to the location in the counterclockwise direction as well as the clockwise. So he's just connected to both. Yeah. Okay. And okay. what was that? If there is still a mass carnival over in play and there's not, we've un oh, we've there's not because they're everything. both flipped over. It's the innocent reveler and John Lagaria. Okay. And so agenda three A, Doom Threshold three, um, chaos in the carnival in the lagoon, an ancient terror stirs. The creature's tentacles coil around the city, and the water level begins to rise. As if in response, the chanting you hear throughout the city grows louder. Forced, after a writhing appendage enters play, places two doom on it. Ooh, this is bad. I agree. Well, let's uh, let's draw our cards and hope we don't draw a writhing appendage. Oh huh? my god. Look. I mean, it's not that bad. We can deal with it. All right, we got we got some uh, some some Pullman. <laughs> four four two spawn on the canal side. Prey's most innocent revelers controlled hunter. So where's the canal side? All right, no big deal. Yeah, he's he shouldn't be a problem. Oh, thank God. I have resources. Yep. Ally asset. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna test it. Zero. You pass. I actually pass. Okay. <laughs> okay. You pass. I, I guess that's fine. I I would have rather not, but I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, 
Uh, we can do the thing where we, you know, go for him. Um, you can one shot him with one two punch. With one two punch, yeah. right? I can I can just okay. walk up one two punch him. Okay, and then this gives us a free move. Yeah. So actually, then you can solve him, one shot him, and move in here to hold this, right? Yeah. So I can one. Um, two, fast action, third, third action, yeah. Fast action. Fast action. And you can fight them both. Right? Oh, yeah, because it's a fast action, fast action, yeah. And my third action is to fight this guy, too. Yeah, I think that seems good. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Easy. All right, so I'm going to move up. Action number one. This guy jumps on me. I am going to one, two, punch him. For two bucks. Uh, fight. I get. So I fight him twice. Um, the first time I'm nine. I'm a nine to a four. He, that is a minus two. I do two damage to him. Okay. Whoops. Right, now I get to punch him again. And now I am a ten to a four. All right. And now he's dead. Right. Yeah. And we get a victory one. Oh, this is so sweet, dude. Okay. I killed some stuff. I can... Do I even need to box in gloves? How many cards? I don't think you need to... We can wait one more turn to go in here if you want. I'm fine with that. We can both just go up here, because you could even go and use this ability here to heal yourself. Um, If you wanted to. Wait, where did... Where did my... Oh, there she is. Okay. Oh, I still have one charge of the kerosene left, too. Yeah. The only risk we run is if if one of us gets the card again where we have to take a mind test and she has to like test it. Yeah. But I think we've probably seen them all. There's three cards left in the encounter decks. So we're not going to draw all of them, so I I feel pretty safe. I feel I feel pretty if, safe about doing what we were, we said we we're going to do. So I'm going to use. Well, a, I mean, you don't even have to go in there if you don't want to. Oh, I see what you're saying. If you wanted to instead heal horror using kerosene or this ability. Hmm. I'll let you make the choice. I think it's fine. I'm fine following you in. What it does is, like, if we don't go in this turn, I can actually do this ability, too, and heal up my horror just in case. Yeah, we just... What I'm scared about is, like, the the double... If we pick up a, a tentacle on our next um, encounter thing, then we just we automatically advance. Well, no, we don't. You don't auto-advance. You only advance during the mythos phase. So we have a whole turn to kill the tentacle. So even if so that's, even if even that's up to up three... To yeah, yeah. The only time... That's why if you go look at Ancient Evils, Ancient Evil says this can cause the agenda to advance. Right. You get a 50 okay, okay. play, and it doesn't matter as long as that Doom's gone before the Mythos phase. Okay, yeah, th okay, okay. All right, now that you've cleared that up. Okay, I get it, I get it. Um, I am going to uh, use my Kerosene, because that has a, okay. uh, a prerequisite to use. Um, oh yeah, and this is that's good. Um, so that's my second action, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I moved. Ooh. I punched. I kerosene, and now I can use this fast action to move up here. Yeah. Yep. And we just stop there. Yep. For you. Then on my turn, what I'm going to do? Um, God, I really should have failed earlier. I will move. I'll fast action. Um, I was really hoping to go and be able to get out my chainsaw this turn. Actually, with with my kerosene. Oh, I wasn't with you. Okay, just kidding. No, no. Yeah, I was gonna say you could heal her, but yeah. Okay, here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna first action move. In action, I'm going to um, attempt. Shit. I need to drop my chainsaw. Okay. Second action, I'm going to play a little key ring. Okay. Um, third action, I'm going to take and shuffle winging it into my, uh, my deck. Mm-hmm. 
and attempt to get clues. I succeed and get two clues. So that was my third action. Okay. And that gives me two clues. Okay. One, two. Then I will. Um, oops. Then I'll fast action myself. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna use my scavenging. Yeah. That was the important part. Yeah. So you can get your chainsaw back. Yeah. So I get my chainsaw back. Could I succeeded by two, right? Um, um, it was zero test. Zero. Yeah. Oh, I actually have to. That was why. That was why. I was, okay. Sorry. I'm gonna throw my perception in there, um, and I'll, I'll redraw the token. The whole point, the literal only reason I'm doing this is to try to get the chainsaw back. Yeah. So I'll just redraw the token. Okay, redraw. Because what I'm doing is I'm a four against a zero. I, um, and in fact, I'm going to go a five, six against a zero. I just want to get the chainsaw back. Yeah. So I'm going to go six to zero. Minus two. Okay. I do succeed by two. That gives me the chainsaw yeah. back. That's all that mattered to me right now. Yep. Uh, and I draw a card off of... Uh, oh, perception. Perception. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll, I'll fast action up to you. Um. Okay, cool. Yes, we're good. So the now enemy phase is nothing. Yep. Um, upkeep. Upkeep. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. All right. Um, doom is one of three, and bad cards. Uh, I got a stupid pullman. All right, and he comes into the cow. Okay. No big, no big. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy actually hunts. Sorry. Oh, he is under. Yep. Okay. So then now we. Uh, your bad cards. Oh, that was your bad card, right? Um. I'm gonna take two more. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um. So I'm definitely spending this. this yeah. Time. <laughs> Um, so uh, if you want to go first, you yeah, can I'm going to go first and try to take care of this this guy over here. Okay. And I don't I don't know if it matters which one of us uses the best to get in there. Um, honestly, like what all all I'm doing is this action and turning this in. Yeah. Um, so the only other thing would be is like to get money for myself to be able to play chainsaw again. Um, I don't think we need it, right? Like I think we're going to advance the act now, right? But we're not gonna win. This is act. This is act two of four. Oh, two of four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. What? How do you want to? Do you want to use her, or, or do you want me to use her? I don't think it. I don't think it matters. If if you want to use her, which one of us needs more setup? That's the real question. I mean, I guess it's. I, I barely needs... need any setup. Like, wait, what are we trying to do? Just drop off the reveler? Yeah. yeah. And so all you I don't like, know... so so my my turn is basically useless. Like, I, I'm just gonna move over and punch this thing. Like, how many actions do you need to kill this guy? Uh, I need two actions. Okay. Well, then actually, I can I can oh, I can one shot him with one two punch. I need I need one action to move, one action to punch him. <laughs> one action, two punch him. Because we still have three acts left. Um, or I could jump in and monster slay with a vicious blow. Same thing. Monster slay one shots him on its own. Oh yeah, one shot. Yeah, monster slay. Yeah, one shots on its own. Yeah. Okay. So then, I guess why don't you just do that first, just to see how like. I mean, I could also like. I mean, if you want to play your chainsaw, I can give you two bucks. Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I think. I think I would like to get my chance out soon, just in case. Yeah, all right, so stand together. You got two bucks. Okay. Um, I'm going to move over. It's my second action. Okay. And my third action will be to monster slay this guy. Okay, and even if you fail, I can, like, yeah. try this up to him. So this will be three damage. Um, I'm doing an uh, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Yep. Eight to three. Got him. Dead. All right. Good. And then that turns that off. Yeah, so you're yeah. good there. Okay. So then I'm up. Um. Uh. I. 
would like to get my free action, so I'm going to attempt to um, investigate this place. Okay. Uh, I'm going to commit take heart. All right, you are a uh, two to a five. Two to a five. I fail. You fail horribly. In action, I draw two cards and get two dollars. Yeah. Sick. Okay. <laughs> Second action is spend two dollars to heal two horror from location ability. Yep. Um, third action, actually, because she can let me do that for free. Yep. Third action will be to play track shoes. I don't, I mean, I know this is weird, but like, Interesting. I think this is going to be okay. better for us in the long run. I know I'm using a little bit of knowledge. Okay. Okay. Just, a fast action here. Yep. And then my last action, my this is my fourth action, right? I turn in the reveler. Okay. Okay, so now we advance the act. All right. So when there are a total of three revelers here, advance the act. Act 1B, the beast emerges. Uh, many of the revelers are under, uh, under the sway of the foul spell, and they cannot see the danger emerging around them. You push your way through the crowded streets, gathering what few sane revelers you can find and guiding them towards the uh, relative safety of the Basilica. As the last of them is escorted inside, the ground violent, uh, shakes violently, and a watery shape looms above the island to the south from the deep within the lagoon. Their ritual nearly finished, the revelers in the streets begin to unmask. Put the set-aside um, sin, uh, sin the qua, uh enemy in into play in the center of all the locations. For the remainder of the scenario, Sindaqua is considered to be in play but is not at any location the lead investigator chooses a masked carnival goer in play flips it to its other side we don't have any masked right we don't have so we're good okay uh act 2a get to the bolts uh the civilization and then the basilica are safe now but venice is doomed if you don't act quickly the only way to ensure the safety of the sacrifices is to draw the creature in the lagoon away from the city Sweat beads down your forehead as you realize this decision may be your last. Legs trembling, you're he uh, you head toward the moored boats docked by the canals. After the mythos face begins, choose a mass carnival goer and play and flip it. If each undefeated investigator is at canal side, advance. So we just have to make it to canal side to advance it. So that was my last action. So now we go to enemy phase. So these two things hunt. Okay. And then let's look at this uh, Syndiqua. Four um, yeah. fight, 16, no evade. Um, monster, Ancient One, Elite. You may fight uh, Syndiqua as if you were at, uh, as if it were at your location. It is not engaged with you though. It cannot be evaded. Four, it's after you fail a test while attacking, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a writhing appendage and spawn it engaged with you, which will also give it to Doom. Um, if it's defeated, resolution two. Wow. Okay. So we need to get here, like ASAP. Yeah. Okay. So then, enemies moved. We go to the upkeep step. Okay. All right. We're gonna take okay. Doom. Two of three. Okay. Bad cards. Got bad cards. This oh is this is an important bad. Writhing cards. appendage. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now, after a writhing appendage enters play, place a two doom on it. Yes. Um, I have to test chaos in the water. Um, it's going to make me take a, a damage if I fail, which is not a big deal. Um, I am currently a five to a four. I don't mind missing this at all because that'll give me an action. Okay, so I do fail. I take one damage, and I get an action. Okay. Does writhing appendage hit me when it comes out? Okay. Only, things only hit you during the enemy phase. Okay. Okay. Um, um, okay. So um, here's what I think we do. I think we just spend our whole turn coming over here. Um, I can get you one step closer. Yep. So all you're going to need to do is move once. Remember when you leave here, you lose an action. So basically spend your turn fighting this, fighting him or whatever. Just make sure your last actions come in here. Yep. Understand this is probably going to do one damage or one horror too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, no. We just let this trigger the hunter. 
Oh, yeah. Got that triggering hunter. It just makes yeah, these yeah, it just makes them go yeah around the circle. Okay, so then, if we're good with that, I will go first, right? Yes, you will go first so that uh -huh. you can bring me around. Do you need me to attack this thing or not? Uh, which thing? The, the 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 thing on you. Oh, the thing on me. The um. I don't think I so. I mean, your monster slayer makes you... Okay, so then I won't. This is what I'm going to do. First action is play emergency cash. Second action is play chainsaw with all the money that I had. Yep. Okay. Um, so that... So I pass that, it gets... I have so how many missed. actions was that? That was two. So, I so you, you can risk... use her to fast action here and then move. Right. Right. Uh, the thing is, yeah, and then I'll actually have one action left if I do that. So I'm going to fast action here. Right, and I'm going to safeguard with you. When I come in, I'm going to attempt to do the ability on my track chase. Yep. Um, so I am after my second action right now. So this is not my third action. So I'm, I'm going to be doing an even test against my track chase. So I'll be a... Five to a three. Six to a three. Six to a three. Okay. okay I succeed. succeed. That gives me a free action moving in here. I do lose an action moving in here from leaving this location. Yes. Um, I will now test mind for the, the acid, the acrid miasma. Yeah, and this gets a fail bad. Um, I don't care. I'm just going to trigger the hunter ability on these enemies. That is what I will choose to trigger with the Acrid Miasma. Okay. Okay. I have one action left. That action is going to be to attempt to hit Cicada, the Cthulhu Cicada. Okay. Yeah, the big Cicada. Um, the giant Cicada. He is going to be a two. Yep. Against my five. Five to two. Five to two. I really like to hit this, but if I miss, it's not a terribly big deal because of that. Oh, I forgot to use Rabbit Split earlier. Oh, well. Um, I'm just going to go 5 to 2. Minus and deal two. 3 damage. So you do 3 damage. Sweet. 3 of 16. Would have made an appendage come out on me, which could have been bad, but not that bad. Okay, I'm done. Here we go. Okay. Um, first action, and I'm going to punch this boy. Okay. Um, with my monstrous transformation, probably. I like it. Alright, and I am a 8 to a 2. Alright, kill it. Along with his doom. Oh wait, don't these things now hurt him? Yeah, so when uh, it's defeated, if that thing's in play, it deals 1 damage to it. Okay, so this, he goes to 4. Alright, um, I don't think I want to trigger anything. Yeah, and I do my werewolf. Alright, so that was action number 1. Action number 2... Will be to uh -huh. come in here. If you move. I have to. So do something. Do something before you do that. Oh, because I like lose the action. Him, got you're it. Got lose it. it anyway, right? um, so just so you just hit the big guy or something, or unless you feel like you're worried about that. I was like, I can play hollowed mirror just because I have a chance. Have like protection. Was that sure? Uh, yeah, for protection. I think I, I think either option is reasonable. Okay, I'm gonna play hollowed mirror because there might not be a chance to do it again. Um, so when that ha comes into play, uh, search for three copies of Soothing Valley, add one to my hand, two to my deck. Okay, so that's this. I'll add one to my hand, two to my deck. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then my third action will be to move down here. I lose an action. I have to take a test. And another clue comes up on here. Correct. I have a mind two test. So I'm a two to a two because I have a monster form in. So it doesn't matter. Yep. Uh, fail. So I fail. And those guys will hunt. Okay. Yep. Oops. Okay. So then now. All right. Uh, if each undefeated investigator is at canal side, advance. Oh, what is this? A gondola. Five shroud, zero cost. And then, uh, revelation, put gondola into play and move each investigator onto it. 
Then remove all other locations from the game. Remove from the game each enemy and asset at those locations as well. Uh, then you action test fight or foot two to row as hard as you can. If you succeed, place one resource from the token bank on this location. That is funny. Okay. Dude, I can't believe everything just cleared like that. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I have control picking these up. Okay. So out of the way, those will go. She will just come up here. I'll put her back in the set aside box. Um, all right. So we are now on a gondola nearby your boy. Yep. Okay. And then we do what? Oh, what yes, that's right. Um, what are we doing now? Oh, here. Act 3. Act. Row. Uh, relief turns to desperation as the creature draws attention to your gondola. You have only one chance. Um, you have only one chance if you were to survive. Forced. When you would draw the top card of the encounter deck, instead, look at the top five cards of the encounter deck and put each writhing appendage among the cards into play engaged with you. Discard the rest of the cards. If there are eight resources on the gondola, advance. Okay. How do we get resources on the gondola? We test foot I'm or sure. fist. Yep. Okay. Um, so... All right, so now then that was, we are we are on the anime phase. Yep. Um, nothing happens. He doesn't hit us. Yeah, because he's not His engaged with us. Right. Okay. So um, we upkeep. Interesting. Okay. Then we doom. Three. So we advance. We advance. Why can't I? Uh, there you go. Um, cicada attacks. Agenda 3B. Great tentacle arms covered with acrid slime rise from the canals and lash at you and anyone else unfortunate enough to be in the vicinity. In player order, uh, cicada attacks each investigator in play regardless of their location. Damage and horror from these attacks must be assigned to an innocent reveler first, if able. Then flip this agenda back to 3A. Okay, so we have time. I was wondering what was going to happen here. Sort of. I mean, we both just got messed up right there. Yeah, so we got hit for two and two each, right? Yes. yes. One, two, one, two. So I'm at two and one. Huh. Um, and then now we draw bad cards, but you draw five bad cards only looking for tentacles. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Did I get any? I uh, don't, unless the bottom one. It drew the bottom one face down. Oh, I see. Okay, good. You, I, we really didn't want them on you. So, That's so great. I just discard all of them then, right? Yeah, you just discard all those cards. Okay. Woo. And because we take all the ones we find. So one, two, three, three. Four, five. Wow. That's huge. Okay. That's actually really, 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 really big for us. Oh my okay. God. So we're basically able to just wreck this dude for this turn. Yeah. So our choices are either roll our asses off for eight tokens or just do 12 more damage to this jackass. Oh, uh, no. We're, we're going to fight this guy. <laughs> I know. I know. I've just for the record, I've never pulled this version off because when you're playing in three or four player on hard or expert. Yeah. Which back when I played this, we were only we were only playing on expert for the record. Um, doing twenty four damage was not a thing. Yeah. So, um, but in this scenario, we potentially can do it. So he he will pickles if we fail a test attacking him. So um, I need to be careful about that and not just like fail a test indiscriminately. Yeah. Um, oh wait, however, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. He. When he attacked me, I, oh, I, I, I should have counterpunched him, dude. Yeah, you counterpunch him? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna counterpunch him. Let, let me remember to do he, that. Does it actually say he attacks, or say he just does his damage? Ack. 
You actually can. I, I thought you said damage. No, you can absolutely counterpunch that guy's giant tentacle mouth. Okay, sweet. Oh, gonna, yeah. yeah, so he's at a four punch. Um, so I'm going to counterpunch him with a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten to a four. Hell yeah. And oh, fail. That sucks. That was that was potentially really exciting. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, man. Well, uh, how much damage can you do to this idiot? Uh, one, two, three, four, five in one action. Uh, five, six, seven uh, with two actions. Uh, eight. Eight with three actions. Okay. Um, I think... I mean, I can go first if you want. Um, and just... If I pull out tentacles, I'll just ignore them and keep chainsawing him. And as long as you kill him before the end of the turn, the tentacles won't kill me. And if they do kill me, whatever. I'll take a trauma. Does it, yeah, does it matter which one of us goes first? Whoever wants to kill and blow, I guess. As long as we don't horribly mess up. Oh, yeah. I don't need the killing blow. I just need to... I just want... I just want, I just want, I just want, I want a piece of them. <laughs> well, no, you're definitely going to get a piece of them. I'm only going to do, like, at most, like, six damage. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it's up, to, it's up to you. If you want to go first, that's cool. Okay. Well, then... Uh... I guess I'll go first. Um, I'll uh, attempt to chainsaw him. Just make sure that the way these come out. So they'll come out with Doom on him, but that shouldn't matter as long as we kill him by the end of the turn. So then I'm just going to go. I'm just going to swing at him, assuming I'm going to miss first, okay? Um, well, but if you fail, fine. it comes out. I mean, do you want to fail or you do not, don't want to fail? It doesn't. I don't care about that. Because I can, I can, I can give you like an icon if you need it. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Okay. Don't worry about it. It doesn't. As long as you kill him before the end of the turn, it doesn't matter at all. Well, the thing is, like, if I do eight, you need to do at least yeah four, right? And I can't yeah, miss. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do four. I don't see how I don't do four because I have chainsaw. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have to like really, really badly mess up to not. Yeah, do four. you're gonna do. So you're gonna be doing like nine right. or something to him. <laughs> I, I doubt that. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go. I swing at it. Okay. Um, I fail. Because of the fact that he is a six, six to my three, to your five. When I fail, this happens. Um, this would come off. I'm going to put it back on. Yep, and you okay? get your extra action. Uh, I do have to go find a tentacle, right? Yep. Um, so I will search the encounter deck for a tentacle. So there's only two left in there. That's good information to know. Okay. Okay. So I draw this tentacle. It gets two doom on it. Yep. Don't care. Whatever. Okay. Um, second action, I spend this and swing at him again. I'm now a um, three to a four. Uh, you are no, you are five to a four. Yeah. Okay, so then that actually hits him and does three to him. Yep. Oh, I meant to rabbit's foot on that first one. Um, so I failed by uh, six. So let me look at the top six cards in my deck and pick one. Um, This one will be really good, potentially, for helping you. Um, rain or snow. I'll just take it in case we need it. Okay. But you, um, do you discard so, the rest of them? No, I don't. Okay. Just, I'm all worked up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Four, five. Okay, so these go back. Yeah, Shuffle. okay. Action number three. Um, I will attempt to chainsaw Five to a two. I do too. You well, the last one should have been five to a four, right? Yeah, the last one was five to a four. Yeah. So I didn't I fail the last one? What did I draw in the last? What token did I draw in the last one? Hold on. Yeah, because I I really wanted to make sure I hit him here. I'm I'm okay. Let me double check something. The last one, you said that I hit, but did I? Yeah, because you, you pulled a zero, didn't you? The zero, yeah. Okay, okay. Then, sorry. So, on this test, because it's my last hit, and I want to make sure I hit him, sorry, um, I'll, I'll, I'll redraw it, but this is where I just want to make sure that I hit him to do three, so that that way you have some leeway. So, this is one of those situations where I'm just going to dump everything in because I have nothing else to lose. Yep. Unless you want me to hold, like, a Neither Rain or Snow or an Unexpected Courage for you. 
Uh, the neither. But I'd rather you hold the neither rain or snow. I mean, I can dump. I can dump something for you too. Three. Well, I want to try to get six up. Six over is two, so I need to get to eight. So I'm a three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so putting both these in, I'm in an eight. Okay. So I'll just rip this token here. Okay. okay. So as long as it wasn't that, I would hit him for another three, which puts him at ten. Ten, right? Yep. Okay. So here, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so then he has only six left, and then I'm done. I only missed one time, so there's only one riding of Jeff. And as long as you can deal six to him, then I'm good. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to do a little uh, one-two punch. Spend two bucks. Uh, the first hit's going to be a uh, nine to a four. Uh, so I'm up five. I'm going to... Throw a vicious blow into this. Um, so I'm a 11 to 4, so I'm up 7. I like that. I like that a lot. Minus 2. So I'm actually going to do 1, 2, 3, 4 damage to him. Okay, so that means he has 2 life left. Okay, the second part of 1, 2 punch, I'm going to be a 10, um, a 10 to a 4. So, I mean, that's the maximum you can be. Yep. Uh, I, I hit him for another two damage. Dead. Dead. That's 16. Okay. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's 16. Seven plus seven plus two. Yep. Cool. And I had two more actions left, so I could have done another one, two, yeah. three damage. From him. We're really safe then. Okay, so I've actually never gotten to officially see the real ending here of R2. This is a first. All right. So, awesome. Uh, there we go. All right, the creature recoils as, as globules of its jelly-like flesh rip and tear from its body, splashing into the lagoon. It makes no sound as its torn body sinks into the depths. The chanting in the city plunges into mournful silence. As you return to the canal-side streets, black feathers fall from the sky where bright confetti once fluttered. You can only wonder how long it will take for the creature to recover. In your campaign log, record that Sindhiqua was uh, retreated... Nah, Sindhiqua retreated to nurse its wounds. Um... Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display, and then proceed to additional rewards, baby. Additional rewards. Yeah. <laughs> Volk and how says much row. XP we don't row the boat, dude. We just punch from the boat. No. We this is what how you American Roland. <laughs> okay, so he's not worth VP. So how much VP did we get? We get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. VP. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. Additional rewards. Uh, in player order, each investigator may choose one of the following mask cards to add to their deck. Uh, Pantalone, uh, Medico della Preste, Valta, or Gilted Volto. Um, the chosen card so, does not count toward the investigator's deck size. If there are no innocent revelers underneath the act deck and at least one underneath the agenda deck, proceed to sacrifice made. If there are no innocent revelers under the agenda deck and three underneath the act deck, which we did skip to abbess uh satisfied so so you want to do that before the masks oh let's yes. do the masks yeah so this manum if you're listening these are uh, unquestionably the worst rewards in the game especially <laughs> for being hard they are absolute and, and we argue slumpy all the time because he's like they're good and they're they're crap the only one that's any good is like pantalone Okay. The rest of them just blow. All right, let's, let's go. Um, let's go left or right. Gilded Volto, uh, one cost asset gives you a foot in a in a wild. Uh, after Gilded Volto enters play, treat the next asset you play this turn as if as at fast. When you initiate a non foot test, discard it. Use foot for this test. Oh my god. <laughs> Pantalone is one. After Pantalone enters play, draw two cards. Okay, that's great. When you initiate a non book test, discard and use book for this test instead of indicated. Okay. Uh, Medico della Peste, uh, after uh, enters play, you heal one damage or horror. When you initiate a non mind test, discard it, use mind for the test. And Balta is gain two bucks. After you initiate a non fist test, discard Balta and use fist for this test. And, okay. Well, I'm going to grab Balta. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is it is definitely good for you. It's the right one for you. No yeah. Question. So I will grab that one. I'm guessing you're going to grab. Uh, Pantalone or, I'm or Volto? I'm probably going to take Pantalone, because even though my stats here is higher, this ability sucks. Yeah. Because if the mask had fast, then maybe it would be okay. 
But the fact that the mask doesn't have fast, then you're just wasting it. You're just wasting your resource. <laughs> my non fast weapon. It's like I get hit once, so that I can play my weapon and not get hit. Yeah. And so that that feels like like a huge oversight to me. Um, but I just take pantalone. Yeah. So uh, you take pantalone. Yeah, probably. I'll throw that down up here. Yeah, and I'll take Valta. Awesome. Um, okay. All right. Now let's go to uh, the Abscess Satisfied. Uh, grazie mille. Uh, thank you for all the help, Allegra says as you return to the Basilica. Thanks, thanks to you, there were few casualties. I shudder to think what might have happened had you not arrived. Should you ever require assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. Any one investigator may choose to add Abscess uh, Allegra de Biase uh, to their deck. This card does not count towards the investigator's deck size. So let's check her out. It's right here. Um, so she is a very solid ally. She does take up the ally slot. Yep. Um, so there is that to keep in mind, but we can use her to get a bunch of free movement. So I think she is reasonable in either of our decks. Um, I know you don't really need Randall. Um, Greet lets you get Clue, but you also don't really need the punch. I'm only using Granny. Um, I guess Granny is one that I'd more likely want to leave out. Yeah. Um, but you do also have Lita. So, like, you have four allies in your deck. I have two. But I don't know. I mean, like, do, is the slime an ally? No, the slime's not an ally. Yeah. So, I guess based on allies and decks, I should probably take it. But, like, also your deck is full of weaknesses. And this gives you another non-weakness card to draw. So, I almost feel like maybe you should take her. Yeah, I, um... It's expensive. It's she's expensive, but, but I, I I do. If I don't get safeguard, I feel like I I can. I'm always like down in action, and I can't ever really move. Um, it'd be nice to have this. I think. Okay, I think that that makes sense to me. Let's give you. Yeah. The best. Yeah, I wish it was like three costs instead of four. Is this one more card that you can find right off the bat with your uh, yeah ever vigilant? Your opening play ever vigilant. Sweet. Oh, so okay. um, we are going to have seven XP each going into the last the last mission, and that includes the amount we paid before coming in here. Right? Yeah. So we had so one we banked so left. Legit, so it's just we we got six okay. from this mission plus the one that we had banked. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, yeah, I've never. I've never killed a guy. So um, the story with my friends is, you know, I can't remember this is when we're still playing on expert if we moved to hard, but uh, we went in there and I, I played this mission a few times, but like every time that we got to the end, it was always like we had to row and we were doing pretty well. And I was going to roll in banks and I was like, we're going to kill it this time, guys. And it came out and I think we were playing like four player at the very least we we're playing three player. So it was like 24 health. It was like 24, 32 health. And I'm like, no, no, we can do it. And they were like, so you know the song American Woman? Yeah. Stay away from me. It was American Roland. And it was just me just trying to fight this thing. And I screwed us all over and made us die. Because I just really wanted to kill it because I've never killed it. So that was the story of American Roland and how I lost all of my... <laughs> I, I, my I could just imagine, like, there's four people in a boat, right? And then... Yeah. Two people are, are have oars on one side, and one person has an oar on the other side. And you're supposed to help them row so that you can go straight, right? But instead, you're going in circles because Roland won't row his oar. And it's oh, and not only that, you're standing at the very tip of the ship trying to double, double pistol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the worst part is your seekers, like, can't really help you row because they kind of suck at punch, <laughs> and usually they suck at foot. Yeah. So they're, like, at this point in the game, they're like, uh... We don't know how to help. Um, <laughs> all we can do is engage tentacles for you, <laughs> and Roland's shooting by himself. Yeah, it, it was a it was a bad mistake, but it ruled. That's hilarious. That's um, amazing. I love it. I love it so much, dude. Oh, I gotta say, the chainsaw is ridiculous. It's so it's ridiculous how much damage comes out of this thing. Yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. And with live and learn, it's like stupidly good um live and learn it just synergizes with it so well like because yeah. you fail so you get to trigger the fail to either get back an extra you know pint of gas or do a free damage which means you get the charge back yeah or do the damage but you still get to swing again without spending the token so 
it's amazing. Like, it either makes it a four dam. If you miss, it can be a four damage attack, or it can be like a three damage attack, and another swing later. Yeah. So it it rules. It, no, it totally rules. Now, like, it's the chainsaw is good because you have to like you have to spend four XP to get it out. It's a two-handed weapon, and you have to pay four bucks to get like to just play it. It's it's a pricey, pricey weapon. Like it's ridiculous. It only has three charges, so like yeah. it's not. It's a type of weapon that you cannot give to your primary fighter in multiplayer. You could make it your primary weapon, I think, in single player because like you're gonna see less enemies, and when the bosses come out, they only have multiples of health times one. Yeah, but like you can't you can't give this to your primary fighter generally unless you have a way to like get it back. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Generally, your because those yeah those not... charges go like 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 that. And then it's yeah. yeah. Then yeah. what are you gonna do? Which I guess is why you have the scavenging, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's great on a secondary fighter or on scavenging. It can be really good, but like then you have to be good enough at doing investigates so that you can make it work. Isn't there a Which, isn't there a red card um, that you throw into a skill test that gives you something yeah. back? Or so that's what I threw into your test earlier. Oh. That when I said wait wait wait, I was gonna throw this in to get back. Um, Neither rain nor snow, because at the time I didn't have chainsaw okay. there. But oh, this is I even. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, yeah. This is really good. There's another card that does this too, but it only gets you level one cards, I think. Um, oh, well, um, I think you're right, and you just play it. You, I think it might be an event. You're not talking about the one that you find innate cards, right? There's one where you can get up to like five and eight cards out of your discard pile. No, that's not the one I'm talking that's about. But I, that sounds good too. Yeah, it was, and I think innate is the one that uh, Silas puts in his deck. Okay. Silas is the one who gets like the, all the innates. So yeah, I I know I, I think I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember the name of it exactly. Yeah, because so, it's one of those things where yeah, like there you, are you, you do there. that, you get your resourceful back, and then you use resourceful to get the chainsaw back. Like there's like multiple ways to like keep recurring the things that you need to get the right. chainsaw back. Like it, it it's right. cool because it, there are more ways to recur than you than than you originally think. You just have to build your deck that way if that's what you're going for. Right. And it's like a survivor thing, you know? I mean, like, yeah. not a lot of... I don't think the other ones can really do it consistently, but survivors can do it a bit. Um, yeah, so... Um, but yeah, that's kind of all. Um, it's a cool mission. I like the way it works. I, I think that the big mistakes in it are, one... Um, once you played it once, you know, you learn there's literally, like, no incentive to paying Clue to look at the other side yeah because there's so many cards that like mix them up and or potentially like punish you that as long as you have somebody who has enough soak to just take the hit you should do it yeah now that's not always the case yeah. we're pretty far in our mission and these two have really high stat pools and stella's ability to self-heal is insane but yeah. like four clues in a four-player game to just look at the other side and then you have to spend another one to like get it back that's way too slow it, it yeah. it's ridiculous because it's like i like i was able to pick up some clue there but you know normally that's not like that's like you can't count on me picking up the clues it's like it was just nice to haves when i did like quality of life for us to get them like with off of greet and stuff like that um so yeah to spend that many clues just to look um, seems kind of crazy. It was one of those things that's like, as soon as we flipped a, uh, the first couple and the enemies were like, oh, we could one-shot these, um, you know, like one to two actions to kill whatever we get. It was like, okay, now I don't really, I'm not really scared. If this is the type of stuff that's coming out. Um, right. I was like, I was like, this is not bad. It got a little hairy there when I, when, when I was like, when I got down to, um, it was like, like to horror or whatever. Um, but then I had the kerosene, and then really late in the game, I picked up the Hall of Mirror. So I was like, you know what? I actually think I'm okay now. Like, had I not picked up yeah. the kerosene at that time, I, I would have been a lot more scared, um, for sure. And then I probably would have yeah, been like, I'm not flipping anymore. <laughs> yeah, the kerosene, the kerosene was really was really helpful. Um, like it's been it's been pretty solid. Yeah, so. you know, I was sure. it was a rough ad because it takes an action it's not a fast action you know you, you really yeah. you really want it to be a fast action um yeah and a lot of me was thinking about instead of the kerosene um there is a card called oh gosh um i've had it worse i think 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, iPad Wars is insanely good. Yeah, that I've had it worse because it's also a spirit event. Um, or no, it's yeah. a spirit counter or something. No. I don't know. Um, it's, it's a skill. Or no, it is an event. You're right. Yeah, it yeah, it's a event. spirit event, but it's a fast event. And so, um, yeah. guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I can pull it up here. Um, this was something that I was thinking about putting in um, instead of kerosene, but kerosene just costs one XP. And so, um, and I, I get multiple charges out of Two it. Two versions of it. Um, but yeah. I've had worse is really good over here. Yeah. Um, there's an upgraded version too that 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 does this, but five damage. Uh, but fast play when you are dealt damage or horror, cancel up to two of that, and then gain that many resources. So it's such a rad card because it's like when you're playing guardians, like you always need money. <laughs> so this is a way to like just cancel damage or horror and then gain cash as well. But it's a it's a one it's a one play, right? It's like you can yeah. only cancel up to two. And then sometimes, like I kept thinking to myself, like what are the what if there's some going to be some chances where I have this in my hand? Well, one, I might not even have it in my hand. I have to pick it up, and I have all these weaknesses. And then two, like what if I'm getting damaged for one <laughs> instead of two? You know, it kind of right. sucks. It's real situational. Really? It's only like a one-off. Um, so that's why I went with the <laughs> kerosene because I can get it off three times because I'm always fighting people. It just takes me an action to do it every time, but. It, yeah, I'm lucky yeah. that um, I feel good that it's worked out um, because I was yeah. worried about it when I put it in. <laughs> yeah, it sure has. No, it's been it's been really good. Yeah, I'm just to see how how we go into the last mission with with it not. I mean, like the last mission on Return to. I mean, the last mission of, of the original campaign is crazy, and the last one on Return to is like extra crazy. So, and we're pretty beefed up at this point. We we will probably be okay, but. There's a little bit of RNG on some very specific locations that you can draw from a pool that make things really complicated. Okay. So we're going to see how that goes. Awesome. I'm excited to see it. All right, guys. So next Monday is is going to be the conclusion to this campaign. Um, so we can button it up. And it's 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 a little bittersweet. I think it's... I think we've played these characters enough. Um, and and uh, we sort of enjoy playing... Uh, our campaigns a little bit more on on the hard level, so I think I think yeah. we're 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 sort of ready to say goodbye to these characters. Although it is fun when you're in the groove with these both of these characters because it's like with Nate, I just feel unstoppable with damage. Sometimes I'm just like yeah. I'm just gonna one shot this like eight health thing or like this ten health yeah. thing, and then when Stella's going and like basically taking like six to eight actions a turn. <laughs> You know what yeah, I mean? Like, it, it, it's awesome, right? So, like, th when we play with these two together, it just feels like we're doing so much cool stuff um, that it's going to be a little bit sad to, like, say goodbye to. I got to tell you, it's been really specifically nice to come back to these characters and this team um, as a break from our Innsmouth campaign. <laughs> <laughs> My sister Mary has not been, not been doing what Stella yeah. does, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. that's a yeah. different kind of fun though like that that it campaign is. is definitely a different kind of fun it's like it feels yeah. way more like problem solving to survive this one when we play nate and sell it's like problem solving to like make the best possible like Six. turn that we yeah. can <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah where sister mary is just like as played by mr bean <laughs> just <laughs> Bumping around, getting hit by cars. Yeah, it's it's different. It's a different it's a different world. <laughs> oh my god, that's so great. Um, all right, well, I think I think that timing wise, that was kind of great. I, I feel pretty good about this. Um, yeah, I do. I did like the mechanic of this. This whole like you can only go one way, um, except for that one um, ally that like lets you go backwards. Um, right. Yeah, but like, and because of the way it flows. Um, yeah, you kind of yeah, you kind of want to go backwards first just to like see the last one, because <laughs> it's yeah. otherwise it takes you forever to go around the circle. And there's like so many like things around the circle. So I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think they intended that. I don't think they meant for you to go back with her. And and maybe I could be wrong. I mean, maybe that is how they intended it. Like, but I think that like the wording being connecting and connecting yeah. being even if it's in the other direction. So maybe they did, but like it it always felt a little bit like. Yeah. Um, now, granted, you can go back and it, it's not an instant reveler. Like, we got extremely lucky. Yeah. But it could be like 
a bad enemy if it's like, ah, oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, we get it right off the bat. We're not set up. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, Matt, any 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 last words before we sign off? Just glad to finally kill that dude. Like, after so many years of not officially killing that dude. Yeah. Feels good. No, it it really does feel good. Volp says it in chat too. Two successes in a row. Um, yeah, no, it feels really good. It feels good to get wins like this every now and then in this game, <laughs> you know. <laughs> For sure. To kill the, to kill the big bad. Um, before we we uh, before I say goodbye, I just want to remind you, Chris and I will be back later this week um, to play Zombicide Invader Mission Six, and then I will be playing either Key Forge or more uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Um, I know that um, a few of you have. Um, Re, uh, resubbed. Um, I have your names down for wheel spins. I will spin those wheels with Chris later later on this week. Sorry, I didn't do it today. Um, you know, it's when we we're in the middle of the game. It's kind of like you just wanna you just wanna play the game. Um, so I didn't want to pause there. But thank you so much, Dragon Cat says. Uh, cheers, Lyle Matt. Uh, good game. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching, Dragon Cat. Um, it, again, it was it was fun playing with you, um, Ruguru style. It's still haunting me. <laughs> to this day <laughs> <laughs> really so bad. great all right uh and with that i think we're gonna say good night so peace good game everybody um and i'll see you later this week Bye,